Flea is one of the most annoying in-studio oh. guests we've ever had. During commercial break, he was by the window waving. So I wave back, and he starts pointing at things. Like, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, and more, so I don't care. So I think he was trying to get on the pal talk camera. So it's just like, oh, yeah, move over there. It's over there. Like, you'll be able to be seen. Right. And then... Uh, as we're relaxing, you know how we just kind of hang out and sit back and do nothing? I'm like leaning back in my chair during yeah, the commercial the break. <laughs> yeah, during the commercial break. I'm just kind of sitting here with my hands on my stomach. And stuff. I look over. He's by the fucking window with his camera, like snapping pictures of us when we're just fucking kind of sitting around. And This ain't candid fucking camera. Yeah, camera. Man, take a couple pictures. Yeah, the camera. Like, you took pictures of the walkover. That's fine. We expect that we're on over there. There's this studio audience thing. And while we're, like, talking and on. But when we're just kind of hanging out, it's like, why don't you just come in the bathroom and take a picture of my cock while I'm pissing that in option? your mouth? That, really? In your fucking mouth. Super. I want, to, I, want that, I want the pictures that he took deleted. Unless they're good shots. You should look at them first. No, I want the ones that... I don't care if they're good shots. The ones that he was taking through the window of us just, just hanging out in here, deleted immediately. Iraq, use, use some muscle. I want that fucking camera, right. Sonny Corleone. Threaten to step on his foot, Eric. Like, uh, fucking throw it. There's a commotion going fucking on out FBI. there. Fucking FBI. Look at what we make here E-Rock to po. do. Now Poe's over there. Look what we make E-Rock to do just to... Look at it. <laughs> Can we put a mic on out there? He's a fan. Yeah, yeah get that mic on. <laughs> Flea isn't a fan. He's a fucking asshole. Hi. What's up, Flea? I just don't want Opie to smash it. Now you're going to smash it. I'm not going to smash it, but there's a way. Delete, like, the last okay. couple of pictures. Well, let's see them. There's ones that are from outside. Then there's ones through the window. Let's see them before you do it. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a look. See, could you have sh that one deleted? Wow! Let me see it, Eric. Right? If you delete look at it, it, I'll smash you. Why would he take that? You look like a doddering idiot. I'm <laughs> fucking like leaning back. I'm, I'm like. I like it. It's a I got a belly of full of fruit and smoothie. I'm fucking like leaning back. I'm looking at pal talk. I'm fucking, and and he's snapping fucking creepy pictures of me. You you fucking cunt. What is that one of? Who is that? Jimmy. Let me see it. It's, is it's it... the back of Jimmy's head. That first one, you're sitting there like that fucking old Don and Godfather 2 before he gets a knife in the belly. Exactly. I like that. I actually look like I have a chin. Keep that one. As if... They're awful pictures. Yeah, yeah. All right. They're just, just a, terrible. Just delete them. Oh, the useless. We're kind of goofing off today, but there is a... Proves he's here pictures. All right. All right two, two seconds. This is two seconds. Bring in that douchebag. Flea, come here. Flea, man. Come Flea. here. Come here, Flea. shithead. Flea, get in here. Come here, dummy. First of all, I want to thank you for calling my fucking cell phone at 12.30 in the morning when I have to be up for work at an ungodly hour of 4 in the morning with a drunken thank you. I, I didn't need to be uh, thanked that my girlfriend was nice enough to buy... Uh, a bunch of people tickets to go see who? Bad Religion. Bad Religion last night, which is fine. Everybody goes to the show. It's wonderful. I didn't need a thank you at 1230 in the morning. Thank you for that. Uh, secondly, you are an artist? No. Now, why do you say that? Well, for not being an artist, you have a lot of uh, portfolio work. Well, I'm in college, so you got to take an easy A, so... Why an not easy A. A? Wait a minute, easy A and A to me in in a course would mean you're good at it. Yes. So what what do you just got to show up? Yeah. I do you use your hands when you draw, or do you put like a, a dark <laughs> pencil in your asshole and scoot around while squatting? Because that might be a good suggestion. Well, it's a, it's just an easy credit. It's you know something that. It's not my major, so I don't really have to. This is what people are going it. to college for. Yeah, if you want to see me, you can go to Columbus Circle, and from two to six, I'll be out sketching, and then I get. Well, we really don't have to go that far. Um, I, I, I've seen some of your sketches here, Danny. If you would please, you, why? The, why what? Why not? I'll let it be known that this is not my major, and yeah. <laughs> Look at this now. What? What is this? this? All I could describe it as. Camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me let me let me get this on a, on a camera. Uh, this I actually failed for. You what? Really? Yeah. And well, you should have. In the eyes of God. Yes. 
Just just yes. hold it in front of Steve because he's always in front of a camera. What? You're all, you're all, you're on camera too. Put it in front of Steve's face and you will have gotten it. Believe me, don't worry about it. There you go. Just move the mic, I guess. It, that is a, a, a one dimension, that, that is like a half a dimensional picture. It doesn't have any depth whatsoever. It's a staircase. Put it down a little. See, it's, it's, right, it's right there. Keep going down. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, there oh, you oh, go. Okay. Look at that. And then there's a flower growing out of the top stair and a window. That is a third grader's rendition of, like, the inside of your, your house. You're really not good at this. I know. No, you just... don't understand how bad you are. That is such a waste of time and paper. Now, let's flip the page, because maybe that was just one example. Maybe you've gotten better. No. Flea. Maybe Flea Man's gotten better at it. <laughs> it oh, here it is. Flea. Awesome. Who the fuck is that? My professor. Oh. That, is your professor Jerry Lewis after he was hit in the face with a Mack truck? <laughs> yes. That's your professor. Why, did, why does he have a fucking, why does he have like a Joaquin Phoenix cleft palate under <laughs> Simpson's nose? I don't know. And he, does he have a John Boy mole? Mr. Pinkerton. And why is he? Why are his teeth perfectly straight? Does he? Is that what happened? Is his jaw yeah. wire shut? He smiles like this, and he's got worms for uh, lips, and and square, uneven glasses. No, Mr. Pinkerton has burn victim lips. <laughs> it looks like all like a black person who was burned, and like the only thing left is their lips. <laughs> That's a fucking police sketch on another planet. That's right. It doesn't even resemble a human being. It's Mr. Spock after a small explosion went off on his face. <laughs> It's fucking terrible. You're horrid. And why does he have square glasses? Is that what he wears? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, now, <laughs> is there a... Oh, no. Believe me, if I could, I would. Have you gotten better as time goes on? How long have you taken the course? About a month. You got a lot of drawings in there. That's you actually not like... bad. That's oh. actually not bad if you did that when you were one. <laughs> 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 and now what the fuck is this your teacher again with the square no, that's glasses? actually me. Wait, how that's you? Wait, self portrait in class. How come out of my mind? Why do you have, have fucking fern leaves on the I end of where, where the fingers should be? <laughs> right, let me get <laughs> to, uh, Look Damn at it. the hands, Anthony. Dude, I'm not all right, tell me. I'm not an artist. I never claimed to go. be. It's Sorry. just an easy th First of all, it's easy three credits. The fucking fingers look like fern leaves and the feet are two pointed witch feet going left and right. <laughs> Look at how immature the drawing style is. What are they teach? Are they teaching you? No. Do you does he look at you and go, okay, let me grade this? It's just show up and do all your work and okay. you're good to go. What? Uh, <laughs> go? Really? Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it a yes? Yeah. Cool. Okay. I say on the Thank self. You. All right. You want to take a look at that for me? I'm going to go over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just watch the carpet. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Just pissed all over his. <laughs> oh, that is a shame. <laughs> oh, it's all stained. <laughs> um, Flake, uh, did you need that? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go to Pearl's Art Shop, spend another 80 bucks on a sketchbook now. 80 bucks? Yes. No way that costs 80 fucking dollars. I don't know how much it is, actually. I think it's... Dude, it's like probably like six actually, bucks. I don't know. I, I'm trying to think. I have no idea how much well, it is. Why don't you just... You, you ought to do is let it dry like that and see if it turns into some kind of a concept art of some well, it, sort. It's kind of like his version of Piss Christ. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. Piss Christ, it's Piss Flea. Piss Flea. Now, uh, Flea, another He's thing right. I want to ask you about is... Uh, oh, <laughs> wow, that would have been funny. Face first. Flea, I want to ask Dude, you why about... why do you have my fucking notebook? Yeah, exactly. Holy why do I have your fucking notebook? 
Uh, what is this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle drawing <laughs> in a fake ID <laughs> looking thing? It's got your name up here and then oh an address God. and it yeah. says uh, FBA New York. And then a zip code. Yeah. Do you want to be a Ninja Turtle? Do you want to be a Ninja Turtle? <laughs> no, it's the Lowell's Turtle. Dude, you are like a, a fucking, like a five, uh, a, a five-year-old. You, what happened to you? You're, you're. What is? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me get a good view of that. Just don't give his address out. <laughs> is that your address? <laughs> no. no. I think he lives oh. in and that's not your name either. No, Mr. No. Turtle. Flea Mansky. That would be a coincidence <laughs> since he's Flea Man. You wrote a Oh, Jesus. Yeah. E-Rock, you better get a checkup. Your urine stinks. Oh, my God. <laughs> His piss smells like mayonnaise. What do you do, pound asparagus into your dick hole? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God damn, is that awful. Um, yeah, I don't know what else this is. Like, psychology? Mm -hmm. Look up... You spelt it wrong? Okay. It's a tough word. What is psychology? From the Greek root, psych or soul or mind, logos. You got to learn this stuff, huh? Yeah. This is hard. Sex? I don't know what that is. Here you go. I'll give that back to you. We won't um, piss on that. So it won't cost you another 80 bucks to do. Did you think those drawings, were they graded already? or? Uh... I no, a couple of the other ones weren't. Actually, yeah. that one needed to be graded. So. Oh, it, oh shit. Yeah. We give it an F. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes down the scale a little more. It's it got a P. <laughs> it's actually going to be fun to explain to a teacher. Yeah, just say your dog did it. Exactly. That's okay, because ours did. I know. <laughs> you rock. Exactly. Uh, it's actually easier to believe a dog. We actually have a dumber creature. <laughs> At least the dog would have shit set up when we come back from... All right. Well, Flea Man, that'll teach you to um, call me when I have to get up for work the next day. Lesson learned. Okay. Lesson learned indeed. I will see you on uh, Pal Talk, my, my friend. My artistic friend. Or is that autistic? <laughs> it sounds the same. There's a lot of uh, chatter on the message boards about Paul Mercurio. Chatter. And, uh, and Flea was completely out of line. Completely. And I want to. And I want to make a statement. And if you're a responsible uh, message board, you can go with it. Uh, Stupid flea. We have absolutely no problem with Paul Mercurio. Absolutely not. We buried uh, our the differences a long fucking time ago. I, I don't know how he uh, he fits on uh, fits on the new radio show that we've been doing for the last almost three years on XM and stuff. But as far as Paul Mercurio goes, we, we're way the fuck past that. Let me fill everybody in. Paul Mercurio was actually one of the spotters during the Sex for Sam contest. He was out with the couple that went to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Uh, the couple was allegedly having sex when they were caught. Paul Mercurio and the couple um, stayed at the location what we deemed at the time especially too long, long enough for the police to arrive and make a big to-do. Um, that kind of led everybody to believe that Paul was uh, at least a bit at fault for the... Uh, Absolutely. Having uh, the and, cops and, get there and then get the story blown and, out of proportion. And we believe and that, too. Sure, we believe that. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. And I was open with Paul. I was angry at Paul for a long time, and I was open with him about it. I never said it behind him. I mean, I was open. I told him why I felt that he was uh, not taking responsibility for his part, because I've been arrested on the air, so I kind of knew the vibe. I had an insight that other people didn't have, because I've been through the, the jail process yeah. being on the air. But uh, that said, we've talked since then, and uh, he is not responsible for getting us taken off the air. He was one part that, and we could have controlled what yeah. by, by by coming out of it. Uh, we could have controlled by not putting it on the. There's a lot of things that could have been done, and and the best of all, Infinity uh, fucking handled it abysmally. So leave Mercurio alone. He's not responsible for this fucking show coming off the air. It was Infinity's uh, cowardice and horrendous. Yeah. Handling the situation, it was run by a guy who didn't like the show. Dude, he admitted his responsibility to us finally. But yeah, as time went on, we it's changed. Been five years, yes. just leave the fucking guy alone. There were so I, many people responsible for everything that happened that yes. day, uh, us included. You know, uh, of course, us mostly included because. Uh, we're responsible for what goes out over the air. So we right, will say yeah. this when we come back. By the way, uh, maybe in a couple of weeks for free FM. Uh, we should have said on this side, uh, but Flea apparently yelled at him, <laughs> and so like you brought down the. And Paul thought he was joking at first. It was just kind of altercation. Well, and here's a real problem. Flea uh, said that he's 
part of our show. An intern for the show. He insists he didn't say it, but right. I'm hearing from a lot of other people that say, yes, he did say Lamont it. I told, heard him say it. Lamont told me, Lamont, who's a black photographer, he does a lot with cringehumor.net. He's got uh, no credibility then. Uh, no, no, he's, he, he's a fucking photographer. I, I, I don't like photographers, and the fact that he looks like a black Darth Vader without the helmet is irrelevant to me. <laughs> uh, but I do believe him. And uh, as, as much as I think that uh, I, I probably wouldn't fuck him, I do think that he's honest, and he said that uh, he said he heard him say it. So Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, just mm -hmm. let Paul Mercurio move on with his life. Yeah, let him do his gigs, we, man. We, have, we were pissed off for a really long time. We had, Five years ago, for the love we, of God. We had many discussions uh, behind the scenes. We pretty much banned him from the radio show, but we're not really sure what to do with him as as uh, as we move forward Some here. Some people hold a grudge like Simon Wiesenthal. Right. But, uh, <laughs> Paul called that guy it. could hold a grudge. Build a museum for Paul McCurry. <laughs> yeah, I'd be open for an on-air discussion Paul, with him. I really would, because he's reached out many times. Paul he called, called you. me yesterday, and he was very, very upset. He's like, what else do I have to do? You know, he yeah. feels like he's been punished enough, and like you know, he doesn't feel like it's it's completely his responsibility. And I agree with that. I agree. Uh, with and actually, uh, Paul sent a clip. I'm sorry, I did that. <laughs> uh, I'm embarrassed that I did that. And then uh, here he is uh, after the flea incident. I made an ass of myself. See, is he an actor, Paul McCurry? Is that another uh, guy with the name Mercurio? I think there might there be another, another one. Guy. Yeah, <clears throat> he's a comedian. I don't know. He's done some acting. I want to apologize to the guy that has a similar name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to Paul Mercurio, because I don't know go. Paul Mercurio. You don't know Paul, so apologize to the guy with the similar name. I want to apologize to some girl that I banged years ago that I don't remember. And I'm really sorry. I got a, a, like a problem with my taint, and I threw it out <laughs> in her anus. We and are I reaching feel bad the point. About it. Yeah. I want to apologize to her. There's like 19 people with their radar going off. We're reaching that point where that's going to be mandatory. We're going to have to just back apologize yeah. for everything we but, did in life. But Paul was very upset yesterday when he called me, and he and he, he very asked. Upset. You make him sound like a crybaby. Well, he asked the show to do this for him, and I, I yeah. have no problem. No, with we it. don't. We have, we have moved Paul. on from Paul Mercurio a long time ago. Me and Paul have spoken a uh, few times at Caroline's and stuff had uh, one night I think it was the night that um, god damn was it the night Regan was there holy Jesus were we fucking drunk <laughs> everybody and I uh, had a great time had a good talk to him and stuff me and him were uh, talking <laughs> doing shots and stuff no problem it's been five years and then stupid flea man from the uh, has the like <laughs> Say he he is an intern for the show. Can we get stupid flea to call in? I, I would like to hear an explanation. Panicked of Panicked phone calls also to uh, no filter Paul. no filter Paul. Uh, my girlfriend got panicked phone calls from him. I didn't say that. I just wanted to tell Anthony I never said like he was heading it off at the pass. Like tell Anthony I never said that I worked for the show and, before and, I heard anything about it. God, he was uh, making sure that there wasn't a media frenzy. <laughs> yeah, he was trying to head it off at the pass. Yeah. Right? Maybe he was being smart. And Lamont heard it. Uh, I think he said he heard it last night. I saw him at the comedy store. So if, if he could call in, I mean, you know, get let's get it honestly out on the table. Yeah. But uh, enough people heard Flea say he probably said it in the spur of the moment. It's like, come on, man, you can't. You know, and, and Paul actually, I heard tried to let him off the hook, like he yelled, "You suck!" in front of like a hundred people, and then he's like, "You brought the opiate with Anthony showdown or some shit yeah. like that." And Paul came back down and confronted him, which I like, and he's like, oh, "Why'd you say that, dude? You're kidding, right? Like, please just tell me you're kidding." Like, like he tried to defuse it. Yeah, and uh, Flea was just adamant. Flea wouldn't leave it alone, yeah. and then apparently um, uh, something else was said, and Paul lunged over and. Punched flea. <laughs> but I heard he didn't punch him in the face or anything. He just shoved yeah, him. It was or a something. little shove or and a scuffle. And then force him his cock. I wasn't watch. there. I don't, you fucked him in the ass or something. I heard he roughed him up pretty good to, to make a, a statement. Roughed and him I, up. And I don't blame nice. Paul to be honest with you. You know, flea, you got You're gonna get your ass kicked really bad one day. You gotta yeah. chill the fuck. And out. you know what's really funny? Uh, Paul, not. Uh, the biggest guy, you know, I'm I'm a small guy. It would be the same thing. But you got guns. Not the, oh, I got guns. Oh, you mean literally? Yeah, yeah. guns. Yeah, yeah, I, no. I thought you meant my arms. No. I'm working out, you know. Yeah. Uh, you have and, guns. You and, have uh, you have guns. Oh, I love guns. Yeah. You got any pictures? Love them. Yeah, I do. You got a picture on my MySpace of <laughs> yeah. me and uh, my guns. Yeah, that's the thing to do. 
they crops his head onto the Oswald photo when they started talking about the I'm actually, I'm actually playing the book depository in a couple of weeks. Oh, really? Yeah, they're, they <laughs> opened it up. They, they opened it up as a comedy club. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Behind the glass it's, partition doing 15 <laughs> minutes. That's right. It's, they do kid park there and stuff. How right. about that fucking video taken from, from the book depository? That gun who didn't know how to use a fucking video camera. She was in the floor below where Oswald allegedly was filming Kennedy coming up and before he made right. the turn down. And then this dumb... Bitch aims the camera at the tree and watches the assassination. Nice one, oh. dummy. But she came in second place in America's Funniest Home Video. Ah, uh, yeah. Wah, yeah. Wah, Did you play wah, some wah, wacky wah, music? Wah, 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 wah. Boing. Got hit in the nuts. Oh. Uh, by the way, um, so the people don't call in droves, you did say book suppository. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, listen to the replay. Have a good laugh uh, at yourself. By the yourself. way, those <laughs> are... Tiny books. Books suppository. Books suppository, sir. All right, knock it off. Knock it off. Knock it off. <laughs> Did I say book suppository? Yes. yes. Why are these books wrapped in aluminum foil? <laughs> yeah. Ow. Why do they feel so right? <laughs> <laughs> so just to summarize uh, to the past, can you do us a favor, please, and just get the word out? Really, because we know you guys are a bunch of psychopaths, and we actually respect that and appreciate that. But when it's right, it's right. But it's he's a, actually not an enemy of the show at all. It's not like this happened a month ago. Trust me, five years is is enough. Please, enough. just a douche. Yeah. And <laughs> Flea, you know, a little advice. You gotta chill out. You know, yeah. Flea is one of the most hated people on uh, the Earth. message board on Earth. Yeah, <laughs> but he's gonna he get like, himself really hurt. Everybody is annoyed by him. He's I don't just know why. annoying. Yeah. He's an annoying person. He's just like always annoying. People just he could say hi to you and it's just the way he says it is annoying. You ever know some people like that? That's just, all I know. Oh, that's all you know, yeah. That's <laughs> I have a relative, all I know. I have a relative. He's like, How you doing? It's like, okay. Good half time. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a mean thing to say. I love him very much. I'd like to apologize, Bob, too. Do you, do you have re relatives that uh, you, you look at them and just go like, man, I would never hang out with these people, but I'm related to them. I have to. Uh, a, a lot of relatives, but I I feel bad about it. I was married, you know, and I had a, uh, a whole ex-family, and they're, they're very nice, uh, you know, unless you've met other people. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's hard when you, when you are with people that, and you, because you love people sometimes, but you don't want to like hang with them because you're busy and right. <laughs> there's, there's no way out of this. I still feel bad. Nah, because nah, you're, you're rich and you're famous and you're busy and they're small and boring. Just say it. Fuck them. I have family too. I don't acknowledge them. I wave at them as I drive by in my limousine. <laughs> Do you, are you close with your family? I love my family. I'm more. I, I have shame issues because uh, I just feel like such a shit. Like I mean, I have a great sister and a great uh, pair of parents and my nephew. I have a nice family. Yeah, but I, I'm not as close to them as I should be, probably. But it's more based in, in self-loathing, right? I'm, really? I'm, yeah. I'm, you shouldn't hate yourself. All right, because there's, yeah, there. there's other people I'm out there. All better. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? If that's all it took. No one just ever thought to say that. Shouldn't hate yourself. <laughs> wow, I I don't. Oh, good point. It's like your miracle dust. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, right. I'm, oh, Flea hung up. All right. Oh, Why good. did Flea Fuck hang up? up? We were just about to get to you. Fuck, I'm in his. Well, let's in go his to, ass. Maybe he got disconnected. Maybe let's, Mercurial punched the phone out of his hand. <laughs> let's go to Lamar in Queens. Lamar. It's Lamont. What's up, guys? Uh, Lamont, oh, what's Lamont, what's up? Hey. Lamont. How are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was there that night. Were you? And uh, Flea made an ass of himself, pretty much. Mm -hmm. What did he say? Well, you know how uh, you guys play the game where you call someone's name and look away? Yeah. So, which we love. That's cool. Uh, problem was, when Paul looked, Flea just said, Paul, you suck. I thought the idea was to say nothing. Right, right. So he says, you know, Paul, you suck. So Paul comes down, confronts him on it, and is like, dude, why'd you say I suck? And one of the things Flea did say, and he claims he didn't say it, but there's like five witnesses, was that he was an ONA intern. Now, I, I, I know for a fact, uh, you know, I have a better chance of being an ONA intern than him, than him and I'm black. You could so, be an ONA. We would hire have a black intern in a second. Yeah, absolutely. Then we could do more I black know. humor. Absolutely. That's how it works in media. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You could use me like Robin. So uh, absolutely. Listen, yeah, yeah. He, uh, you know, he said that and Paul had every chance basically to back out of it. You know, even to the point going, that, hey, come on, you're fucking around, right? This is bullshit. And he's like, no, you know, he's standing his ground because we're there. I think he assumes we're going to back him up. But, you know, you get yourself in a situation, you have to get yourself out of it. Yeah, we don't want people representing the show when they're not 
exactly. working for well, the we, show. We, Jesus. At least we know, but I mean, to say that to Paul is a bad reflection on you guys. Yeah, well, yeah, and then people that don't know us are hanging around and they hear it. And, and Paul did tell me he he showed unbelievable restraint, but then it got to a point he's like, look, I had to make an example of him. And, um, you know, I personally understand that. <laughs> so. Oh, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, Paul isn't the biggest guy, and they were putting pictures of him up on the website and going, this is the guy that punched Flea. And, like, they show Paul Mercurio, who isn't a big guy, and it really makes Flea look bad that he got manhandled by Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Thrashing. It wasn't so many punches in the face. So he claims he only got hit three times in the shoulder through three layers of clothing, and it didn't hurt and whatever. But I think he should call. But, you know, he's yeah. such an attention whore, and now he doesn't want the attention. I don't get that. He was on the line, and we didn't get to him fast enough. And the other thing Paul did say is he goes, trust me, I made sure I didn't really hurt the kid. Yeah, if he wanted to hurt him, he could have. He goes, trust me, I could have just, just you know, knocked oh, his face could've. in. He definitely could have. Um, and we but, said it earlier, and I really want the message to get out. We're, we're done with Paul Mercurio. We, ha we don't have a problem with the guy anymore, all right? We were really pissed off, and we kind of worked it out. And we don't know what his participation in the show will be as we move forward, but we don't want anyone harassing him anymore. Yeah, we, we have no problem with Paul. Exactly. All right. All right, sweetie. Thank you for calling. Take care, dude. Have All a good show tonight. All right, Lamont. Take care. And this is an actual uh, voicemail that Flea left. Ew. Yeah. Who is he calling a pig? <laughs> Nobody? No. One safe message. Safe message. Lamar, give me a call. Please, please, please let me know what's going on. I really, really, really need to know. Fucking, please do it. I'm going to keep calling. I don't give a shit. Just fucking give me a call back. I really need to know, okay? Thank you. Bye. To replay the message, press... This was outside oh, the club. panicky Pete. Please, 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 please call. Oh, my God, please. Maybe, you know what? We Maybe. can't leave voicemails anymore. No. No, no one can. They you can't will really air. go anywhere. you got to be in a bubble or wear a helmet or something. <laughs> yeah, the cone of silence. <laughs> That's <laughs> what we all need. <laughs> There's an embarrassing one of me floating around somewhere. Is there? Fuck yeah. Oh, Why'd no. play? I like white guy. Hi. Out. Play. Why do you represent the Opie and Anthony show by saying you're an intern for the show? I didn't say I was an intern. All right. What'd you say? Uh, okay, what did you say? I said, look, I'm a big fan of the show, and he said, I don't care who you work for. Um, so you're saying that he mm. misunderstood you? And and, uh, and other people misunderstood you? That, that it's heard? A giant, it's, yeah, I think when Mercurio said that, then people thought I said I was an intern. Why'd you say, why'd you, say you were an intern? I didn't. Why'd you confront him? What happened? It's just, it It was pretty much, I've never seen the guy in person, and I've just never liked him. Okay. So I just decided, why not? I just felt like doing it. But you didn't realize he was going to, like, beat you up, right? Or were you hoping everyone was going to help you out? No, see, I, a, a lot of people think I thought that they were going to back me up in this. No, this is all me, because I know that other people like him, and it just, I didn't think he was going to hit me, and I learned my lesson. How come people don't like you? Yeah, why are you so unlikable? Because uh, I'm a 19-year-old guy who likes to act tough, and then he got the, he got hit for it. You're saying that they wanted to see you get your comeuppance. Flea, how much you weigh? About 135. <laughs> Ugh, tops. That's soaking wet. There's another man guy. in your lap. Well, this, is, this is Bob Saget. I think the first thing you got to do is change your name, dude. Because yeah. it's saying it's diminishing you. That's true. You should change it to locust. <laughs> Just something a little bigger. He might as well. He comes once every 17 years. <laughs> 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 Nothing on that one? Uh, you can laugh. It, you know why they're not laughing? It's dangerous for the crops. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that deserved something. And I heard a titter. I was like, all right, swing and a miss. <clears throat> so you d you never said you uh, interned for the Opie and Anthony show? No, it didn't. didn't. No matter really how quick. many other people say that you said that. Fucking everyone, I'm trying to at least be a little serious. Can you stop my phone? I hate that stupid gimmick that people try to do. What do they do, Flea, what that do you don't do? like? It's, it's pound your phone and keep trying to call you, so all you hear is a beep. I can not I can barely hear you guys because people keep calling my phone. Oh, yeah, it is kind of oh. distracting. What are you talking about? See, so you said you're an intern on, on the ONA show. Why would you say that? <sighs> Norton, I didn't say that. Well. But, I, but I mean... Uh, uh, some people were saying you did, and then and Mercurio said, I don't care who you work for. Look, Mercurio hit me, and I pretty much deserved it. You what? I, I can't I hear you, dude. He did what to you? Mercurio hit me. Okay. Oh and, and you deserve it? How many times did he hit you? He hit me twice. Where? 
Uh, shoulder. Yeah, he said, uh, he called me yesterday. He said he could have really messed you up if you wanted to. I'm sure he probably could have. Fleet, but... Fleet, honestly, we're done with Paul, all right? I know you're trying to do the right thing for the show, but we're so done with him. And a little advice. You, you're going to get really hurt one of these days. you got to be careful. You're I'm a little really boy. sorry. Honest to God. All right. Cry. Yeah. Start crying. I, it'll, help, just, it'll help your case. Just start crying. Hello? What? This is on? Uh, cry, Flea. No, it's not worth it. Uh, someone is telling... Hold on. Hold on, Flea. We may have a thing here. Uh, Lamont. Hey, what's up? Hey, everyone is calling in, Flea, and saying that you uh, said you were an intern. You, you fucked up. You got, Will you just clear the air? We got Lamont on the line. Lamont. Dude, just come clean, man. You said it. And another guy's on hold saying you said it as well. And Paul Mercurio said that you uh, either said you worked for the show or you were an intern for the show. I just think he might have misheard me and said that I worked for the show, but I never said that. Other people heard you say it too, my sweet. Yeah, but wouldn't if you just said I'm a fan of the show, like everybody would have heard it that way. They would have understood it that way. It doesn't sound anything like an intern. Anthony, there was even a guy named John who I think works for your show, worked for the show on the CBS side. He doesn't work there anymore. He even was trying to call Flea out on it and be like, excuse me, you're an intern? Uh, I never saw you before. Did that happen, Flea? No, I don't know who Lamont's talking about. Who are you? Uh, I'm just, so this no, Lamont, Lamont, I'm being totally serious. I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, former child. John, the guy. Former child oh, star? Former, chi former child star was... Uh, hey, John. Honey. Former child star, we know him. That kid with the pretty eyes. Yeah, oh, he looks like a. Yeah, wait, he wasn't. He wasn't there on Wednesday. What are you talking about? Look, this is getting too complicated. You said it. Why don't you just come clean? It, they're, they're, they're so Lamont, what the fuck is wrong with you? With me? With me? You 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 start shit, and something's wrong with me. Here you go. So Lamont. Lamont, I, I, I don't get why you are jumping on a fucking bandwagon. Ooh. What is no, no, the no. deal? Why? I've known you for about three years. I don't get why you're fucking so pissed. Because, dude, you do shit. And, we and I didn't do anything to you. I didn't do you anything under anyone's uh. fucking name. I did it on my own. I, you I'm you always labeled as fucking somebody else's Ooh. thing. Shit. Why can't I just be my own fucking guy? Okay. <laughs> I see a flea manifesto in his okay. future. Dude, we, we try to talk to you to just point you in the right direction, because, honestly, we love you, seriously. But when you do shit like this, to get attention, then when it's this much attention on you, you don't like it all of a sudden. Ooh. And then we try to tell you just to go the right way. We don't want to control your life. It's just you can't have stuff like that happen, dude. It's not right. Oh, shit. Whether, he mentioned, whether you mentioned OA or not, as you claimed you didn't, it was wrong to do that to Paul. Well, we're partly to blame because we didn't really make it clear to everybody that we're done with Paul. But but still, and, and, Flea, you're gonna get you're gonna get really hurt one day. Yeah, you're not big enough to like mouth off to people. Yeah, you that's, gotta that's, just accept that. That's all I'm. Or not, to, you know, uh, rich enough to have a lot of security around you at all times. And even if you I become very rich, I just want to point that out. So. Ne <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Never ever leave a voicemail on a twelve year old girl's cell phone. Yeah. Right. That's the biggest lesson here. Exactly. Yeah Lamont. yeah, Lamont, thank you for putting up that voicemail. Jesus fuck. Well, you were calling me constantly during the show when I was trying to work. Because you kept fucking texting me saying that I'm going to get, like, that they're calling up other clubs about me and shit. Calling up other clubs? The comedy seller got a call about him, actually. Oh, that, that. Because, of, because of, of, you were deemed a problem in a club. Really? And that's where they work. I only heard of uh, the Laugh Factory. No, nah, comedy seller, I guess it was Laugh Factory. Huh. Now, you see? I was trying to warn you. Am I wrong for doing that? I'm hounding you? I, I was that's what it was, and you scared me. I, I could have said nothing. I got Dude, you know, but I told you. I went to see Lewis on Thursday, and he said everything was fine. Mm. Yeah, well, he called, uh, apparently called the Comedy Cellar, and I guess the Laugh Factory, according to Hope, so... Uh, yeah, and I got a voicemail from Stand Up New York, but I haven't gotten back to him yet. I don't know what that one's about. Yeah, the clubs talk to each other. Whenever they deem a customer a problem, it's just it's, it's a courtesy they extend to each other. Exactly. Hey, uh, did, would you take uh, Pete's word there, Flea? Hold on. Pete's Lamont, phone? hold on. We might need you again. Here's Pete from Crunch Humor. Uh, Pete. Yeah. He's fucking full of shit, dude. He totally said it to him right there in front of everybody. There's like at least five, six people that were, watch that were listening. He fucking well, said that he was The only in person who was listening was Lamont. Ooh. Pete, you weren't listening. You were on your phone. 
No, no, no. I had my camera phone. I was about to take a video. Just as I'm about to fucking video, first of all, Paul thought I was. I, we were setting him up. As he's fucking shoving Flea and punching him, he's saying, did you get the video footage that you wanted? He said it a couple of times. Because, you know, he the, the, the way Flea set it up was that he was a setup. He was a, uh, an intern from Opie and Anthony. That's what set Paul off. Oh, boy. No, that's not what fucking I said. And what Ooh. I said was, you suck, and that's what got him mad. And then he was like, oh, look, you know, are you, know, are you joking? Are you joking? I'm like, this fucking me you're a fucking I didn't lying fucking represent anyway. I said I'm an O and A fan, and I don't like how he got them five for sex for Sam, and then it got blown up like that. And you were on your phone, Pete. Please don't lie about that Ooh. shit. Now you're he's calling you a liar. Oh, shit. Wow, I like you're how he turned that around. Liar. You're a fucking liar. You're a cancer on this whole fucking O and A community. Kill yourself. Kill your fucking parents. Jesus. You <laughs> no, you're don't. never. You're never fucking coming back on cringe humor. I'll tell you that. You're never fucking coming back on. I've never You're seen someone liar. banned from so many message boards before. I don't give a fuck that you started a fight. I don't care that you called Paul. Uh, you called Paul. I don't give a fuck what you did, but you're Fine, fucking Pete. lying. That Fine. I give a fuck about. Pete, I ain't mad. Fine. Have a Sonny Ferrelli from Boston, uh, uh, also on uh, on the line. Oh shit! All right, let's, let's go hear to, from Sonny. This is getting heavy. Sonny Ferrelli. Hey guys, hey, listen, I, I'm from Boston, so I don't uh, have a chance to get out there all that much because you know I'm a working man. But you know, uh, at the Christmas party, I, I thought he was a, I thought Flea was an intern. He told me that at the at the Ron and Fez Christmas party. He told you he was an intern. Yeah, well, I was talking to him, you know, and he, no, he, he was, was all upset there. that he couldn't. No, I didn't even say that, dude. <laughs> but he, he was all upset that he couldn't get inside the Ron and Fez uh, Christmas party because he was too young. No, and then, you know, he says, what do they think they are? You know, he's me out. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Not, uh, <laughs> not material. Play, it's intervention time, man. You got to chill the fuck out. You're going to get hurt. You said you were an intern, Philly? No, I didn't. Why is that? Exactly. If you're going to lie about something, like say you're an employee. Yeah. Why would you say you're an intern? That's like the I worst. I got that impression that he was an intern up to, up to now. I right. thought he was always an intern. Why don't you say I'm a bag of shit? I mean, no disrespect to the interns. <laughs> 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 All right, Sonny, thank you. You're welcome. Is everyone's calling don't Flea hurt yourself or, or, or your parents. I'm just I'm putting it out there. Hey, oh, of course. Actually, not, not, maybe. Actually, that's Matt, not and right. Then, and then get some veg. Bob, Matt from <laughs> Cleveland, <laughs> that's what he, needs. he wants you to sit down, Flea, and give him a full house uh, sit-down talk. Could you do that, maybe? That's right. Aww. Do you have any music? Do you have any kind of full house uh, music? Uh, get of? some, wow. like, nice, some sappy. Let me just tell you something, Flea. You're kind of like the daughter I always wanted. And... <laughs> You know, I want you to not be so hard on yourself. To be honest with you, you know, in life, things happen. And sometimes you make mistakes. I've made mistakes. Whatever happened to predictability? The milk man, the paper boy, they all tried to bugger me. But let me tell you something as a, as a father. I want you to forgive me. Stop coughing up shit first. <laughs> and, and don't be so hard on yourself. You know, this is supposed to be entertainment, this, this program. And so they're kind of making a sensationalism out of the drama you're going through. And I know you feel the drama's real because you're only a 19-year-old guy. But this will so pass. And you won't remember this when you're on that train and living as a drifter in Oklahoma. <laughs> You know, and you get that disease all around your ace, the ace hole, because some guy that you didn't know just kind of put it in there and you were asleep and passed out. But don't hurt yourself. No matter what you do, you can let a guy violate you all medicated and drunk on NyQuil. Uncle Jesse, maybe. Uncle Jesse will do it up. He'll put a mullet inside your ass and you won't <laughs> even know what happened. I just want you to be careful. And don't be hard on yourself. This is supposed to be entertainment. And try not to lie. I used to lie for 30 years. I lied, and then I stopped fucking other people. And then, and and I want you to just be be be, be forgiving of yourself, man. And 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 try not to be a liar and an what asshole a, and a hunk of shit. What a good fatherly speech. Well, that's it. Right from now, now one please. of America's dads. Thank you all, but I want to say one last thing. I'm getting on a plane on Friday. <laughs> I am going to be... I want you to wait for me, Flea. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to turn around on Saturday and I'm going to leave. <laughs> but when I come there, I'm going to parent you. I'm going to straighten you out because you've been acting like a little piggy. <laughs> and this yeah. little piggy went to market and that little piggy stayed home and that little piggy fabricated some stuff. So I want you just to forgive yourself and stop being a little lion piggy and it's That's all going to be fine and flea is lying and i i guess I uh, but i don't lying. know nothing i just show up to try to have fun with you guys all right dug out dog 
a uh, Flea's little uh, custom username underneath his name on FBA. It says O and A intern. Really, Flea? What about that? There. Flea? Flea? Comment? comment. <laughs> Flea? Hi. What? Comment. comment. Does your name on FBA uh, underneath uh, your name say O and A intern? No, it doesn't. Hi, Doug. There's not a single message board in the ONA community that agrees on anything, but every single one of these boards had somebody there that all heard him say he was an intern. The members of the five boards <laughs> yeah. were all represented. <laughs> yes. Doug, right. I, Doug is a pimp. <laughs> they, don't agree. they don't agree on anything, but everybody heard this. Yeah, Doug, heard who from, Doug, who from you... Doug, who from your board was on Ooh. there? Who from your board was there Wednesday? Oh shit! I I have no idea. I know Neil Filter is Paul me. was there. Neil Filter Paul was there. No, he wasn't. Oh, he wasn't there. Hi. No. <laughs> no filter. No. no filter. Paul uh, was. He wasn't there. No. I, I, I just want to hear Flea cry. He's the one that gave me the info. All right. Thank I don't know. Out. I think this uh, audio has to be uh, pulled and uh, given to uh, Eastside Dave for uh, board gossip. There you go. Uh, little gossip. Uh, little chat. Is that what he says? Oh, it's yeah. horrible. Flea. The song oh. is off. Flea. Flea. Hi. Uh, we'll give you the last word. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> to who? You're a powerful speaker, Flea. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm probably going to get hung up on, but... Just say it, you mousy cunt. I'm sorry I did that. No, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed that I did that. <laughs> what? I no, made I'm... an ass of myself. Go ahead. All right, it's just... Sometimes I'm a bad boy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last words, anything... Uh... Well... We're waiting. Anything you want to say that mm. might defend you or make you look a little better or... I don't know. My, my apologies. Shame, 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 shame on you. <laughs> Not anything? I don't know. Uh, my apologies to anyone involved. You're stupid! Yeah. No? Nothing? I'm, I'm trying to... You lie! I'm, You're a fucking liar! Shut up! Come on, Flea. Something sincere from the heart, please. I know, I know. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good. I'm oh, trying to... Hold. I'm not good, Lord! I have to do this now! I'm just trying to hold it together. Hold it together. That's a good thing to do. Video. You are never to blame. Is it video manifesto time? Yeah. It's not to that point, right? I'm scared. You, you dick. Flea, something from the heart, please. Not this, this dreck. Yeah, come on. Look, I just... Uh, stupid! I'm not... You're so stupid! Why are you stopping? You yeah. want to be a part of this radio program badly, and yet we're giving you an opportunity to say something that might ingratiate you to the program, and all you're doing is flubbing and stuttering. How about a real comment? Here comes... It's another sound clip time. A, a that's not what's happening, and B... No, dickhole. Exactly. <laughs> just go with it, stupid. I keep just trying to apologize. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, know, I don't, even, I don't think I'm really yeah. loud. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm sorry. I Maybe an apology to Paul Mercurio. Yeah, exactly. Actually, How about an apology oh, to go. Paul? That's, That's exactly what we want today. Go ahead. I. <laughs> Shut up! Hey, I wrote him an email. Yeah, did you? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry! I did so many bad things! Flea. I want that one. <laughs> Flea, this is Greg Hughes, the actor that plays Opie on the Opie. Oh. Show. You really got to be careful out there. You're going to get hurt. I'm dead serious, all right? We do want to like you, but you got to chill the fuck out. And I know you're trying to do the right thing, but uh, we're done with Paul. All right? Okay, I'm really sorry. All right. Have a Son, all time. I've ever asked of my Marines is for them to obey my orders as they would the word of God. Word God. of God. Word of God.
All right, Flay. You look like assholes right now, man. Have a good weekend, all right? Wait, wait. Thank you. Oh, Have wait, but Flea, hold on. Quick question, Flea. Have we're a not, good vacation. We're not hanging up on you here. I'm looking at your profile picture, and it says Flea Man, and it says O&A intern under it. What is this from, Hawk? From full-blown AIDS. This is from fullblownaids.com. Your, mm -mm, it says FBA. Flea Man, O&A intern under it. Now, what, what you just said that you don't have that there. Flea. 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 Are you a compulsive liar? No. What, is, what are you even talking about? On your, your, your profile, on FBA, it says Flea Man, and then it says O&A Intern under it. You know how you put your little comment under your name on a message board? I think you know about message boards, Flea. Yeah, and Doug is an administrator, so he can always change it. Ah, conspiracy That's theory. Conspiracy theory. I like it. All right. You know something? I kind of believe Doug would do an asshole move like that. Oh, of course he would. I actually think Doug, Doug dressed up as Flea and yelled at Mercurio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to go, Flea. We got a, yeah. a big star in the studio. We've had enough of this bunk. All Flea, right. take care of yourself, man. And I was okay, just my, apo around. my apologies yeah. to all you guys. I didn't mean for any of this shit to be, like, as big as it was. Yes. Well, it, didn't, it morphed into something, and now they're talking about it in fucking Chicopee, and there's going to be a big showdown tonight at the Hokie Lou at 1030. <laughs> it's a town meeting now. Yeah, it's a big town meeting. There's going to be a Jim big Norton. fight. A good mouth fuck. I mean, who cares about tickets? <laughs> so, did you apologize to uh, Paul? <laughs> yeah, I wrote him a All long right. email about what, it. And what? It, what is it? The, briefly, on, because on the air, we'd like to hear it. So, briefly, yeah. just a, at least a little piece of it. Just a little apology to uh, Paul. All right, Paul. Sorry for being. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> shut up. Take your email and fucking shut shove it up can. your little dumper. <laughs> like I give a shit. All right, <laughs> punk. You want uh, oh, uh, you Sam? Go. You want Flea Man to go with you? No. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Flea Man. Uh, Why not? Uncle, there you go. Sam, Uncle Flea Sam. Man is the fucking him of my story. I was gonna. Uh, you beat me to it. Uh, <laughs> Flea Man, what's well, up? If there's an extra ticket, I would uh, sure appreciate uh, going. I... <laughs> what do you want? I Fl haven't even said anything. I haven't even said anything. Anything. No, Sam. If you want me to go tonight with you, I'll go. But I don't want you to go. <laughs> oh. That had to hurt. Right, Sam, Why I'm not, Sam? Time. Why don't you want Flea Man to go? Flea because. made me leave Pal Talk last night, too. He got me so pissed off. Express it. That's what I'm saying. On the cool scale, Flea Man is so far <laughs> below me <laughs> that the last thing I want is to be seen on TV wow. next to some... Hanging out with Flea Man. Flea Man. Don't you understand? You're all sitting in the same room that uh, they put all those kids a in bunch an animal of, house. A bunch of Flea Men. It's Remember? just a bunch of Sam's and Flea Men there. And and they, sat, they sat Flounder and uh, the other guy with the uh, the Indian kid. And oh, shit. It's just a bunch of Sam's and Flea Men all <laughs> no, over the, just, the goddamn stadium. Just Flea Men, not Sam's. There's one Sam, and he'll be in the front row. I'm sure there's a, some other boys with weird hair that no one understands. <laughs> and you know Sam's going to have a sign, and he has his own belt. And he he has does a, have his belt. He has a fucking Are number one foam finger. He just makes me <laughs> sick already. You uncool motherfucker. I'll be trying to sit in that bitch trying to be cool. He'll be like, Stone Cold number one with a fucking foam finger. <laughs> We would have a great time if we went together. And Jimmy Superfly <laughs> Schnooker feet. <laughs> hey, did uh, did, did Flea really uh, make out with a seventy-three-year-old grandma on Friday? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is that really this true? This old lady uh, was hammered. Um, she was so hammered as at one point they were drawing on her, and uh, in the back hall by the mirror. <laughs> Um, they were they were making out. They were drawing on her. Oh, yeah. Actually, there's a little bit of more drama. She actually has a boyfriend who wants to kill me now. Really? Oh. What's he gonna do? How Fucking how beat you with his arthritic <laughs> wrist? Yeah, how's a boyfriend? Eighty five. Yeah. I got no he's gonna, idea. Is copper tunnel syndrome? Uh, is that <laughs> <laughs> contagious? <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's thanks, gonna smother man. you he's with out. his hanging scrotum. Larry, New York. What's up? Yeah, I was just wondering if uh, Sam's got an extra ticket. Why does he bring AJ Poopy shits to the row? Oh, good. Yeah, you oh. want to bring AJ Poopy shits? No, I don't want to bring AJ Poopy shits. What's wrong with AJ Poopy shits? It's embarrassing. Oh. I can't stand that guy. <laughs> I bet. I, I would never bring that guy to a I wrestling think Sam show. Sam is upset that he's not upgraded to being cooler than these dudes that with like Flea yeah. Man or AJ Poopy <laughs> shits. <laughs> Do you understand, no way, Sam? Sam? I'm as far down as AJ Poopy shits is. Anyone have a question out there for Patrice? No one else brave enough? Oh, uh, we got one. They're There's raising a couple. their hand. Who's that? Uh, hold on. Uh, Sam will get you. Oh. Come around. 
Is it? Oh, great. Oh, it's, no. it's Young Flea Man. <laughs> young Flea has You a, know what? Flea, all, after every show, like if he comes to a show of mine, mm -hmm. Flea will talk to me for an hour and a half about his problems with women. No shit. His last problem was he was in love with this old broad and she left him and he just... He just was kept pouring his soul out, whatever's oh, in, whatever he inside. Found a, he found another one at bar nine. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he fucking stalks old women. Does he really? That's yeah, your thing? That's yeah. thing. Fleas chases old women. No, he was, actually, he was, he was the, making out with some old broad at bar nine. How old was she? She was actually 38, but uh, the story that Patrice for is him, talking about is... That's old for you. I know. You're what, 20? Yeah. So... But uh, no, you, got a, you got a mommy thing or something? <laughs> no, I'm, Flea's I'm rhythm well. is just yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's the kind of guy that gives that old thing where you give a phone number out two one two eight six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a r weird way of talking. <laughs> I have a question about uh, a, a sex. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? What? <laughs> That's, yeah. but my my question for Patrice is uh, how do you get a girl to put out? <laughs> oh, get out of here! How to put out? That's rookie. Shit. Yeah, that's to like I put even... out. What the fuck is that? That's like junior high shit. He sounds like Napoleon Dolomite. <laughs> uh, Patrice, I want to know how do I get to first base? Right, right. <laughs> Dude. Where do I put my penis? Well, Which hole? <laughs> I heard there was a story that uh, perhaps you were, um, uh, your hand was going over a girl's shirt. Well, it was uh, two nights ago. I brought a girl. She's 18 years old, and I met her thanks to my roommate. And I took her out to dinner once, and we ended up going to park her, like a couple times to walk around. I brought her back to my room. We ended up, you know, making out on my bed, and I go for a feel outside the shirt. And as I try to go underneath, she said, "No, no, no, I don't want to go any further." So. I felt like a shithead, and then it kind of ended awkwardly because she had to leave and study for tests, and I oh, got boy. blue balls, and then I had to jerk off and go to sleep. Yuck. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So w w you're wondering, uh, what, wondering what you could have done between above the shirt and under the shirt that would have kept her uh, there. I'm wondering, is there anything in between? <laughs> I'm wondering, is there anything in between or something that I should... Uh, Change or do that would yeah, maybe not, a, yeah. A I, I, ser seriously, flee like oh, it, it's a it's a power thing, and you're just so uncomfortable. And I'm not even trying to be funny. You're so uncomfortable <laughs> that you you give girls power. Like you give anybody who talks to you right away, you gave them power. Like there's nothing about you that says I own my own space. So if some, there's no way you shouldn't be able to fuck an 18 year old. You should be able to talk your way into some 18 year old pussy. But you're so giving her her little power, and that's why you always a woman gets off more telling a guy no that she can control than fucking actually giving up pussy. Women, li especially 18 year old girl, they like men wanting to fuck them. This is why. This is the great thing about God. <laughs> is that God. I'm serious. That God has made it so when guys get my age. Ah, I look at women my age, 38, 39, 40, ugh, and they want to fuck all the time. And you go, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and they don't want to play. They just want dick. But women 18, they like to want to be fucked. They just like guys to want to fuck them. And Flea is one of those. You, Flea, you're never going to learn until you get 40. That's You're stuck because you're the type of, and, and I'm not even trying to be an asshole. You're the type of dude that makes 18-year-old girls struggle all through their life till they're 38 and they meet me and they find out, oh my God, I've been wasting all my fucking time. Because <laughs> like I keep saying, the value of pussy is like cars and ain't like houses. <laughs> it, goes. it goes down. All right, go get some roofies or something, Yeah, Flea, Flea you're in deep shit. <laughs> right, let's you're in deep shit, uh, Flea. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe we're actually taking a phone call from Flea, man. Flea. Oh. Flea's terrific. Yeah, is he? At what? Flea. Hi. Welcome uh, aboard, kid. Hey. Hi, Flea. What do you got for the show? Jesus, okay. What I think it's uh, like pretty cool that you guys take my call. It's like, it's like, you know, cool to call in because then I get on message boards and people go like, hey, Flea, I heard you. Hi, I'm Flea. Go ahead, Flea. Hi, no, the best part right before that bit is that Vince McMahon is bending down and they have a guy who's professionally buffing his ass. <laughs> that is pretty funny. <laughs> Bu buffing his ass. A professional ass a buffer. A professional ass yeah. buffer. Yeah. Then, he has to, then he has to be 
be like, oh, my God, Vince McMahon's ass in HD. Hey, are your feet still yellow, Flea? What happened? Well, Flea Man uh, was on Pal Talk uh, the other night yeah. and uh, letting everybody know what he does to keep his feet soft. And apparently, uh, when he's in the shower, he uh, does something all over his feet. Uh, something you would usually uh, use the toilet for. Well, not uh, really. I, you would use the shower for that. Well, you can do it in the shower, too. Every morning. There are times. You know, <laughs> Every morning. Make sure you aim for the drain. That's what I do. Uh, but but his, the, the bottoms of his feet were yellow. It's just because of the camera. The camera? No, it's not the camera. And my lips are red because of the Accutane. Yeah. Great. What do you do to keep your feet soft besides allow another gentleman to pin them behind your ears? <laughs> and Flea, I got a question. I got a question for you, Flea. Uh, uh, my my girl took notice that when I was hanging out uh, watching the great radio show that is Than and Sam, uh, you were staring at my crotch the entire time. Oh God! And even Sam is nodding his head. You saw that too? Yeah, there's a, there's a picture on the Than and Sam website that if you look at it, it looks like Flea is looking directly at your crotch through the window. Wow. You were creeping out my girl. How did I creep her out? You were staring at my crotch. <laughs> I don't think I was. We got I wasn't. We got photo evidence. I, I don't think I was. You're I like the retarded me. Keanu Reeves, and that's bad. <laughs> 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 he talks like he has a razor on the roof and on the bottom of his mouth, and he's afraid to close it too far, or they're going to cut him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's the picture of him looking right at <laughs> Look at the, see. There's a picture of Flea lovingly looking oh, at my crotch. Oh, God, Flea. Look at that. His head is tilted to the side a little bit. That can be found on fanandsam.com? Whoa. Oh, wow. Well, is that hey, like, oh, 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 look at that. Well, oh, how about boy, that? Hey, uh, Our own little website. How cute. Watch out. We're going to have to. <laughs> Teasing, of course. We're going to have to break out our A game eventually to make sure these guys don't. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, my third favorite show. Come on. Well, Opie, I'm sorry for this show, Ron and Fez. All right, you guys. All right, uh, Flea Man, Steve, maybe. All right, Doctor Steve. All right, you guys. All right, listen, Flea's gone. We gotta take a break. <laughs> you guys have fun. Yeah. 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 All right. Look at that. Another successful too. live program here. And, and Flea was here the whole time. We didn't even have to talk to him. Thank Good. God. Thank God. Thank God. Old piss feet. He pisses on his feet to keep him soft in the shower. That's <laughs> what he says. And they're yellow. His feet are yellow. You want your face to be soft? Kisses on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't give him a mic. Fuck no, let's see what he has to say. Hey, he has nothing to right. say. Good point. Flea, what do you got? No, pissing on your feet oh. is oh. good oh. thing. <laughs> That's great. Pissing on your feet is a good thing. Oh, it's actually, you let those out. <laughs> supposed to do that. And Dr. Dr. Steve and confirmed it. So. Oh. No. The time's a waste to go. So where you go until tomorrow when I see... <laughs> That's Flea Man on a voicemail. That's Flea, that's, that's Flea singing songs. That's wonderful. You sing songs on people's voicemails? I don't know who I left that for. What was that? Mm -hmm. Still inducing. Oh, I know who it is need. now. Never mind. We can go through the park and have to talk. Smoke that oh puff of weed. Oh. As the marijuana burn, we can take our word turn singing them dirty rap songs. <laughs> Stop and hit the bone like Cheech and Chong. Marissa, and I hate you. From here to Hong Kong. So oh. Roll, roll I'm... to 83. <laughs> Got a lot of coops to build. Cause if I take some of my CDs, just don't sell. I, I bet, bet my caddy, caddy will. will. What yeah. song is that? Cold for, um, Crazy Rap by Afro Man. Who are you singing it to? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice shot, Duffy. Right. <laughs> Pat Duffy just picked up Sandy Kane's uh, panties or whatever the fuck they were. Hit and Flea in the mouth with Threw them. it right in Flea's face. It hit him in the mouth. Oh, God. Do you know there was shit on that? Oh. Flea, who are you singing to? Uh, my friend Marissa. Because well, you, you really can sing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Flea, is it true you try oh. to become a model? Uh, yes. You know you didn't. <laughs> I, for what? I I wanted to go for modeling. After I was finished with Accutane, I felt that my skin was better, and I tried to maybe make some money on the side by trying to get a modeling gig going. And I was told that I was too short and too round shoulders. And ugly! So. You're too ugly! <laughs> <laughs> You're not How polite are they? Well, you're a little short. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking asshole. A little short. 
Oh, well, your ankles are too thick. <laughs> Is it true also you uh, ask people to come up to you while you're talking to girls at events so you look famous? What? What the hell is that? <laughs> I, no, I, no, no. I Let's say you go I'm up to here. a girl and you're talking to her, then you ask your friends to come up and, and, and go, hey, hey you're hey, Flea. You I've flea? heard you on Ron and Fez or something. And, yeah. And it's supposed to impress no, the, the girls. Shana. Wait, yes. fl Flea, can we. Uh, That's true? Uh, yeah, it, it it's was. kind of a good move. It to be was honest true. With you. <laughs> uh, doesn't it was work. True. Can we see your model face? You have to make I'm a model face. Don't be shy. Well, Magnum. I, I the one picture that I did, it, I was up against the wall, so I'd have to. On oh, the wall no, one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you go down the wall one. <laughs> up against the wall. Okay. Uh, uh, take your glasses off, right? It's a lineup. Uh, yeah. yeah. It was. Uh, glasses right, come off. All right, he's doing his he's model gonna, pose. By the way, this bonus show. So don't, don't expect too much from this part of the show. Right, now he's. Oh, God. Oh, what a total douchebag. Oh Do we have a picture of that? Better. It's actually not that bad. Um, take a picture of him. Take a, take a picture of him being a model. Hold on. I'll get a picture of Flea. Oh. That's fucking funny, Flea. Hold on. We got, we got I don't know if you're going for funny, but that's fucking on. funny. No, it's good. Yeah, it is hands in pockets. It looks like he's studied modeling because... He's trying to do like a GQ thing. You've seen this, you've seen this pose a million times. Where's another jar of gravy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Steve was leaning against the door, and Steve just pushed the door open, and, and right. Flea flew. Right, he won't do it. Just do it. Come on, I want to take a picture. Don't be paranoid, stupid. I'll take a picture. Oh. Yeah. You, focus. You, you got to be able to focus when you're a model, yeah, no focus. matter what the circumstance. Yeah, this is like or conditions. Uh, America's Next Top Model. They put you in weird situations, yeah. and you have to, you know, deal with it. Hold on. How's he doing, Michelle? Is that good? It's actually, not bad. <laughs> That would be a perfect shot, gayforpay.com. Ah, uh, gayforpay.com, right? Okay. Actually, I love it. Is that, a, is that a real website? How does she know about gay websites there, Johnny Fairplay? I'm on the road a lot. <laughs> Michelle, why do you know about gay for pay? Is that a real website? I don't know. John told me about it. That's weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, what, what song can you sing, for real? You can sing. Give a voice. Yeah, we're gonna, you're going to sing a song out of here in a second, but there's one more thing. He also tried to get a girl... Back to his car by asking if she wanted to see his GPS. <laughs> Is that true too, Flea? Jesus. Who was she, from fucking Zimbabwe? <laughs> <laughs> Jersey. Uh, I'm, I'm never telling my friends anything ever What again. happened? Well, you said you want to see my GPS and you figured you'd make a move? Uh, I met uh, I met somebody through a dating service and we went out to dinner and I learned that a good way to get somebody to your car is probably to show them a t piece of technology or get them to listen to music or something. So I load Deftones in the car and then I have a GPS system. I'm like, oh, do you... <laughs> wow. <laughs> AshleyMadison.com pays through once once again. And I found that I said... Yeah, right? <laughs> and I said, oh, I got a GPS in my car, so would you like to... Would you like to see it? And it, what'd she say? Uh, well, no, but we. Um, <laughs> but did you at least talk about some of the features? <laughs> <laughs> wow, what's the name of the website that you went to to fucking get this girl? That's a, that's a brilliant move. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> hey, I have an iPod. You want to sit in the empty parking lot and look at it? No, but it's secondly, it's secondly being nice and inviting. You know, if you talk about technology, you say, oh, I got GPS. Do you want to come, you know, see mine? And then It's actually smoother and... to say, I have to shit. Can I borrow your scarf? <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have parachute cord and, and duct tape. <laughs> That's the worst fucking pickup line I've ever heard. It's not a pickup line. It's making conversation. An ever, awful conversation. Have you ever heard of uh, Neil Strauss? No! Okay. <laughs> You're saying it wrong. Who is he? How is it? How is it said? I don't know. Jim, you know who he is. It's Neil Strauss. Yes, oh, he wrote fucking it. the game. Yeah. Yes. I read that. So I, read <laughs> I don't know how to say his name. I Neil Strauss? I don't know. Oh, well, maybe you fucked up and you said you want to come look at my Guppa S. Fucking <laughs> 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 dumps. All right, Flay, what song could you sing for us? We, we got to leave. Uh, I could do Never Gonna Give You Up. That's a good song. All right. Chicks like that shit. All right, we're going to leave you with Flea singing today. <laughs> something something bad is always going to happen. I know. No. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. You think? <laughs> fucking Flea is a... I got a bunch of... You got your fucking... Uh, a bunch of... Different, like, what'd you say? Oh, what was the term? A bunch of hooks in the water? It was the term you used? Sure. That's what he's got with the fucking singing yeah. and the picking chicks up. The mo Something's going to break for you. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it'll be your neck and spine. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Swim walk, motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. All right, Flea. The show is yours. We leave with Flea today. 
I don't know. I'm terrified. I'm afraid something's going to happen. No, we oh. promise you. No one's going to assault you. Just sing. Nothing we can do is worse than what we're just going to exactly. hear. Exactly. So. Uh, okay, just start. Sing! Okay. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. Uh, I uh, just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Uh, never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run sorry, around and desert you. I never gonna make you cry. Oh never gonna God. say goodbye. Never gonna tell <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know. Uh, no one's really applauding or anything. <laughs> and uh, that's how we yeah, that's how we wrap up. Yeah, that's it. Not bad. Yeah, well. <laughs> Tell me no music or anything, you need to get to warm up the pipes. Much appreciated. Flea. There you go. What's up? He showed me the same stupid letter. Dude. There's this controversy going on with the fans of the fine radio show, uh, and there's a lot of people pissed off because we did a quick animation contest with K-Rock here in New York City, and uh, after two weeks we announced the winner, and, and there's outrage because the winning animation uh, was done by an animation house, basically. Yeah. And why, why do we care about that, Flea? Why well, don't you speak for the people out there? Well, shouldn't it mainly be for people who are doing it individually rather than people who would be possibly doing it on their job? It just doesn't seem like a fair contest if you're having people who do it professionally, especially when it's five people. It's not just one person. Uh, Flea, let's say you are part of a show called <laughs> Flea and Anthony. Ugh, I quit. Or Opie and, <laughs> Opie and Flea. Why would, that be, why would that be good for the radio show to blow off professionals? Well, it's not a bad idea. Because in the end, this animation thing is very entertaining for us, very entertaining for the listeners. And uh, the better quality work means that uh, this stuff will spread further than the ONA community, which could only help the radio show in the end. But it's also saying to the people who are doing it by themselves, not who are being paid on the job... That what's it saying to them? What, what's yeah, it saying like to them? Like Coke Logic, who does it by himself. Right, but Coke Logic is, you know, doing it on his spare time. Right? Yeah, but it's Coke Logic. So I'm Imagine saying that professionals Coke get the same thing as non-professionals. Coke Logic is, is very low respect. Yeah, Coke show. Logic should be working for one of these animation houses at this point. I don't I know, know what he does for a living, but he, you know, he should really blow that off and start doing this full time. Secondly, this uh, this girl Andrea, you, you wrote, uh, you gave everybody this letter, which pisses me off. Well, uh, I, she's getting a lot of exposure for her work. Don't you get it? That video is on YouTube. It's getting a lot of views. It's on all our websites. There's a beauty to that too. Yeah, but the reason I'm saying it, and you brought up Coke Logic. Imagine if Coke Logic had five people and he worked for Disney. That'd be awesome. Is, and and they do an Opie and Anthony video. Yeah, we don't why. want Disney animation no. doing an Opie and Anthony. Ew, video. Imagine the Pixar like oh throwing together. That uh, would be awful for the show. You're right. That Flea. would suck for us. No, I'd, I'd rather have some freshman in college do the animation. You're right. It doesn't make sense. I think it makes sense. I think if you were to no, do it, it doesn't should. make sense because Andrea uh, still gets exposure in the end. She did a great animation on her own. Then Absolutely. For the contest, you could have you know five girls with large double Ds instead of one girl who comes in. Yes, you could have either one. So should we say only real tits? No, but what do you understand? New names. The only animation. No, I don't know what you mean. That's, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. That's called new names. Uh, already 9,100 views on YouTube. Now, if it wasn't for this show, this uh, animation by Andrea would have been seen by nobody. By nobody. She got something out of it. And it was a competition. I don't believe it was said you if, can enter or not enter, right? Yeah, if Pixar contest. and Disney wants to get involved, because we are going to be doing this huge animation festival, holy shit, we'd be jumping up and down for joy. And the people that attend the event will be very happy at what they say. You kidding me? To the karaoke contest we had for Mac. We didn't say that people couldn't be in a band or couldn't be professionals. I mean, you know what I mean? We had some that were awful. What? Well, I, I agree with that, but also if you had a professional band come in and do karaoke, and then somebody who's doing it by themselves do it, it just wouldn't be fair. difference between a professional awesome. band coming in and doing karaoke well, and submitting mm. it the way these were submitted, because we're not watching it, mm. we're only seeing the finished result. There's a difference between that. Uh, um, yeah. I'm just getting a, a little communique here from uh, Marissa. Uh, tell Flea to shut the fuck up. Who's Marissa? Uh, probably representing everybody that knows you. Oh, okay. 
So why are you taking up for this girl when it, when it's obvious that nothing wrong was done? Well, I'm not. She just asked me to, you know. But why would she ask you, thinking that I'd, you would do it? Because I'm, dude, I'd be flattered. Plus the fact, like, she's got to understand the big game. A lot of these people have to understand the big game. I had a long talk with Stephen S. from Bayshore. I'm like, dude, you're a brilliant writer, and you're going to get discovered because of your show rundowns. He's making mm -hmm. no money because they they forgot to pay him, and when they do pay him, it's only going to be about a hundred dollars <laughs> a week. But it, if you look at the long long-term plan here it's going to lead to something and, and i say the same thing to andrea that did new names animation now she's got something pretty goddamn cool to put on a fucking resume if she wants to pursue this career further all right i'm just i don't know what else you want me to say this is my animation i just decided Nothing. to give it to you and i didn't want i didn't even know it was going to be brought up on the but show but you're taking up for you her you know it's going to be brought up on the show you want to be brought up on no, the show because how many people got this letter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in this room. You didn't want it brought up on the show. Why are you handing out copies? Because I just I wanted to hand it to you guys. And also, you never you said you never check your email, so I just figured. I don't. I don't have an official email uh, for this show. Okay, so I just wanted to give something it to you. we're looking into because I think we I should go back to, you to that. Break, but... Just so you could read, you know, on your spare time, just like when I gave the answer. Spare you time. Said read on his spare no, time. no, no, no. Uh, giving it to me to read on my spare time is like when I'm on the sidewalk walking home. So then there's no potential that I would bring it up on the air. You're not. You're not a dumb kid. You you gave it to all of us hoping that this uh, this was going to happen, that we would actually discuss it. And I see nothing wrong with it. If animation houses or companies <laughs> want to get involved with the the real animation festival that is officially on, then so fucking be it. It's only it's only yeah. good for everybody. Now, listening to what Opie has said, how can you counter that? Like his uh, reasoning for what it will do for the radio show and things of that nature. It's his animation con. It's your guys' animation. That's contest, not what I'm saying. So. I'm saying how can you? But you didn't say that when you came in. You had a point. Like I think it's wrong or it's better. If, I didn't, so say, I didn't say it was wrong. I just said it's dissatisfying. To no, that's wrong. Like you're playing with dissatisfying. It's dissatisfying, it's dissatisfying I mean, yeah, for it's, it's a wrong. small, say, you know, come on. extremely small group of ONA listeners. And dissatisfying or wrong, yeah, that's a semantics yeah. game. Yeah, and, and she, uh, first of all, I'll be honest, I, I did vote for her uh, to win the whole thing, but everyone else voted as well, so she lost. She came in second place, but uh, everyone knows who she is now. And it was very good uh, animation. They absolutely could have won. It doesn't. It doesn't matter where these things come from. It matters how uh, funny they are, how well put together they are. Uh, it doesn't have to be a professional animation. It just has to make us laugh. Right. That's yeah. all. And I've seen some professional stuff that's fucking utter shit. She beat out some professional yeah. uh, people, by the way. She didn't, just didn't come in first. She came in second. So did you piss on your feet uh, today? No, not he today. He pisses on his feet. Why? To make them soft. Why? No, because he thinks there's something in piss that softens. The skin, yeah, so Uriah. he pisses on his feet, what? and then on Pal Uriah. Talk, he'll cross his legs, and his disgusting yellow feet will show because they're fucking piss feet. They're He's stained? got piss feet, wow. stained piss feet. Well, urine is uh, used for a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. It's true though. Urine does soften your skin. Why yeah, get us, you give me some urine facts. Yeah, they also have fucking like Vaseline intensive care lotion. Yeah, that's about something else. I don't about stopping yeah. your skin. Well, no, it's yeah. not. It's not something that you just you know kind of do standing in your room, but like in the shower or something. If yeah. you, why do you want soft? You feet? like the way it feels. Why don't you just admit that? Yeah, you if like you want to soften your feet, you put Vaseline on, like you just said, or some kind of you know. I could do that, but I'm also you know not. You know, why don't you just admit you like the way it feels, the warm piss feeling? Why don't you just acknowledge like to yourself warm piss on your feet? You like that feeling. That's love, what that's about. I love the feel of warm piss on my skin. There you do. You know. I mean, for real. You have to no, understand it's that. Just, it's just something that you could do in the shower. That all just right, stop acting you know. like you're being practical. It is. It gets you're rid of not acne, pragmatic and, and all kinds of stuff. Urine <sighs> is actually good for your skin. I know it is. I'm sure it's terrific. So are a million other products that <laughs> yeah. you can rub without pissing on yourself like a fucking chimpanzee. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else is good for your hair? Shit is good for your hair. <laughs> right. Urine, but there's, there's shampoo. Urine is good for your hair, by the way. Uh, is it? Yeah. Cum is good for your skin, too. Yeah. You know that? Why don't you kneel in a booth and fucking and have somebody fucking arc a load on your cheeks, and then you rub it in yeah. and just say it so your smile has more luster. <laughs> let, let us uh, do a bukkake on your feet. <laughs> what? Uh, a bukkake? Ziggy, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, I like how, uh, according to uh, Fleeman, this contest is for people with no friends and no job. Because, <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you know we we at this company. I'm I'm from All Things Media. We made the uh, winning the winning cartoon, and you know we're all fans of the show. We all listen while we work, and when we heard about this contest, we wanted to be part of it. 
What's wrong with that? Yeah, that's, that, in the end, yeah. in the end, these guys are fans of the show, Flea. Exactly. That's great. No friends and no guess job. What? You're right. And guess what? This guy Ziggy. If we do a uh, karaoke contest for a Mac, I that's not his expertise. So I would imagine Ziggy's not going to go for that particular no, contest. Think at it. Right, but animation. But animation. I mean, hey, this is right down my alley. I'm a, a fan of the show. Yeah, I'm going to give this a shot. Why not? Yeah, well, you know, we heard about. We're like. Uh, Adam, who uh, submitted it, he was like, "We should do this," and everybody just was like, "Yeah, this is great." You know, are you What's the problem? He's and Flea Man's going on the uh, the message board. Mar, 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 there was five people working on it. Like, who cares? Right, they're all you fans of the friend, show, and you yeah. work on it with five people, and you do a good animation. Right, hey uh, Zig, you guys working on one for the real festival? Oh, absolutely. All right, cool. Just, I... Right now, we're just trying to find a good. Uh, Good bit to work with, you know? A any bit works. We just want... You can't make them... Uh, we're trying to keep them to two, three minutes at the at the most. Uh, shorter is definitely better in this contest. Oh, yeah. Well, we, 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 we figured that, you know? Okay. It's just We just want to find a really good clip to work with. Yeah, game on. I, uh, we're still looking for a venue, but uh, we're doing the first uh, the first annual. We want to try to do this every year. Opie and Anthony Animation Festival, or we've got to come up with a cooler name than that. But we got yeah. we got at least $2,500, if not more. We're, we're trying to get the prize money up to 5, 10 Gs, other prizes. We're going to get comedians uh, to perform in between the animations. It's going to be a great night of entertainment. And sorry, Flea, yeah, that uh, we're going with uh, professionals, but yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> All right, Zig, thank screw you. Him. If you can't take it, just screw him. All right, cool, man, thanks. All right, man. All right. Later. All right, are you ha happy now that you like completely stopped the show with your nonsense? I'm sorry, I just wanted... I'm sorry, I just wanted to hand it to you. I didn't even think it would be brought up. And, you know, if that's your rules, it's your rules. I'm not here to change the show. Just <laughs> He's always got thing. something to say that just is abrasive. Oh, I know. It's like, not just like, all right, well, you know, it's, it's like this... Ab ab you're abrasive. You really are, like, kind of just... He hears it all the time. He knows that. Yeah, yeah. People don't really... Like, they, they enjoy you you around uh, because they like making fun of you, I think. They abhor you as if you were a water bug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're just uh, annoying. And how you, you can't be pleasant. Your energy. How do you get the frosted hair, by the way? You allow people to piss on your hair? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking hairdo, dude. Frost oh. is out, bro. I would let's uh, let me say something. It was That's in. a hair don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good gravy. Good gravy. Yeah, I guess you're right. There's no such thing as the first annual. It's just the annual. Absolutely. Open at the uh, cartoon fest until the second one. Now, Car what is the cartoon fest the Palooza Asian? Yeah. What is the fucking kid stock. with the Hawaiian punch hair gonna fucking do? <laughs> It bugs me. All right. Well, Andrea, congratulations for coming in second. I still think that's awesome, and I still mm. think that's very good for you. I think uh, I think you should, uh, you know, pursue mm. that further. Obviously. Thanks for uh, bringing it to our attention, there, Flea. Yeah. Yes. Anything Jesus. else that's wrong? Yeah. Is my raging heart on right now? <laughs> I'm, I'm happy that the uh, they're working on their animations out there. Do we have enough bits to choose from on the website? We were supposed to do that, and then have and if you can find other audio, that's great too. Sort of. No. Anything. Anyone? What? Huh? That's Steve's thing. Oh, boy. That means no. Yeah. Oh, boy. That was a good passing of the buck. Oh, boy. Yeah. Where's what? Than? That son of a bitch. I haven't seen him all day. That fucking fruit's I, moving. I didn't even notice know. he wasn't here. It's <laughs> kind of strange. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> By Flea. What? Well, yeah. No, I asked... Don't you know when it's else? over? Jesus. Right. You... I just asked Sam if I could go. I was just making sure. All right. Just ask Sam if I could go. I've got to go piss on my feet. I want to thank Matthew for stopping in today. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for reading it anyway. Much appreciated. I didn't like, even read it. Oh, <laughs> Flea, I didn't read it. Oh, God, do you just hate him? Why'd you throw up the devil horns on the way out? <laughs> it was fucking Dio oh, standing uh, on the fucking console. No, I didn't. I just, it's, it, this what is, what is that, that? This isn't devil horns. This is, instead of pointing like this, you just give, you know. Why would you do that? It's, it's the just... thumb and point. It's the thumb and thumb pinky. Thumb and pinky. Pointed out in different it's directions. It's almost like a hang ten mahalo kind of. No, a, it's meant to, it's the yeah. goodbye, you know. Just no, it's not goodbye. A wave is goodbye. <laughs> this is, I'm a whore. Horse's ass. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye as you flying out that window. <laughs> That'd be a great goodbye. Yeah, or a wave. Spirit or shatter. <laughs> Thanks, Flea. <laughs> Plummet. Now you guys could go discuss how you were on the show and how it's still wrong. Blah, blah, blah. It's no, it's your contest. Jesus so Christ. <laughs> you <wanna hold> <laughs> there he goes. No, it's your contest. Which no. means, like, I still, I still completely think I'm right. 
you're a dick, what? but it's your contest. I still, uh, I still disagree with what happened. Uh, I still think uh, huh. it shouldn't uh, be professionals. Uh, blind CC, blind CC. I don't uh, think uh, professionals uh, should be in there. It should be just open to listeners. Listeners, it's I'm not gonna piss on my feet. It's not really fair. <laughs> Hey, before you leave, you want to fucking hold up your lighter until we play Freebird? <laughs> fucking bag of jism. <laughs> Why is he still oh, here? I don't know. Get out. <laughs> Let's go to yeah. Steve in Chicago. <laughs> Fuck off. Steve. Yeah. Good hey. evening. Uh, hi, Steve. <laughs> how you doing? Hey. <clears throat> Find the show? Yeah. No, Hello. Steve. Okay. Were you... Hey, how you guys doing, man? I love the show, but... Good way. comeback, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> what? I, what? what I the, hold on. What did I? What did I say? I didn't hear. He goes, "Am I on the show?" And you go, "No, Steve, you're." <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm sorry, boys. No, it was my fault. I, I love it. Yet, and I just smoked a huge bowl of dro, so I. It was my fault. Ah. But mm. anyway, what I wanted to say Some was dro. I appreciate what you boys are doing for the animators here. Yeah. What are animators? And, uh, animators. Then we've been with Uncle Mators. An animator. <laughs> like that Chicago accent, the Chicago hillbilly accent. That's no, right. But uh, anyway, man, I just wanted to let you guys know, everybody in Chicago is really feeling the show, man. I know at least 10 people that just bought XM Radio. Well, that's and, everybody uh, if you're yes, talking about ten, Chicago. 10 people. Exactly. Everybody or 10. Wow. That's, well, uh, that's all the uh, people I know and anyway, you know. I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love to hang up. <laughs> Andrea. Hey. You just saved my ass. Thank and, God. Uh, Andrea is the uh, creator of the puppet animation called New Names that came in second place in the uh, the uh, the mini uh, animation contest that, yeah. uh, that the radio station did. Now we're taking their lead and we're making this into a big, huge motherfucker of a <laughs> of an event. I I'm sorry you lost to like a professional uh, company there, Andrea. Yeah, it's not fair. No. Um... <laughs> It, it, I don't know. I think it was just like really frustrating because you, it took a week and a half to announce it. I don't know what was going on there, but it was just like every day it was just like, we're going to announce it tomorrow. We're going to announce it tomorrow. And I think that was just really frustrating. And then to get beaten out by it. And, and it was awesome. It was an awesome an animation, but it was like just frustrating that that was what won because they were professional I, I, I hate to tell you it was really really close i voted for you um and i think you lost by only like two votes uh-huh <laughs> uh-huh <laughs> jimmy laughs at That's her what you get i love <laughs> but i love her animation i love the part where she included my fiance handing over the uh the smelly sweats as i'm trying yeah. to make this like statement in my own house that i'm now nice. great audio that you know nice. what? I need to give um, mm -hmm. Jazz Green American Zero props for that because that was his idea. <laughs> yeah. It was, oh, it's really funny. And then when you have uh, oh wait, I'm sorry, Obi, who's whose idea? Great American Zero. So there's two of Jazz. you working on that. Oh, oh wow, well, it was a hey, collaboration. Wait a minute here, you had a little help, did you? Oh, oh well, <laughs> Lee uh, wouldn't allow you in the contest, but it's our fucking contest. You do what the Whoa, hell you want. A little help from a faggot, no, 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 huh? No, no, no. <laughs> It, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when when yeah, when uh, Jimmy Aww. pops on the screen and says Yee yeah, <laughs> fucking huge laugh every fucking time. Very funny. Where where did you learn how to do that animating? What'd you do? Uh, school. Oh, school. Very good. Yeah, wait, so you took classes? For wait, wait, wait. That, Hold on. Then you're you're kind of a professional. No. What what do you do for a living? That's not what I do for my job. But what's, uh, what's your job? Um, photography and graphic design. So you're Gra in graphic design, though. That's oh, the, you're an part artist. of the field. So it doesn't count. You're an <laughs> artist. Wait, 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 wait. It's part of the field. I mean, you were able to make uh, uh, animated characters that looked like us. Yeah. Now, do you think anyone could do that, or you need some kind of talent uh, in in art and and graphics? No, not necessarily. Oh boy, not See, necessarily. But you know what? Following. But. I'm sorry, Andrea, but following the rules of Flea. The great flea. You're out. You're out. He wants complete beginners that just pick up software somewhere and go, all right, I'm going to try to yeah. figure this out he now. He wants retarded children totally with fucking finger send. paint. <laughs> right. <laughs> I totally did not send flea in. And, his own doing. <laughs> Andrea, I hope you're not. Uh, I hope you're not bitter enough where you're not going to be. You know, I hope you're going to be part of the real uh, animation festival we're getting together. No, I, I think that was. I was just really frustrated at that point. But now I'm like, 
I have to. So <laughs> you're in. No well, you know what? I mean, the, you should up your game now. Maybe get other. Uh, I don't know though. I think you have enough talent to win the whole damn thing. I'm telling you, it was really fucking close. Mm -hmm. You you make a lot of money. No, not at all. Do you Damn want it. to make a lot of money? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> See, <'cause>, like, <laughs> Just going to hit that button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, all right, Andrea. Well, thanks for being a good sport, sort of. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah. You Thank got, you you got for, a lot of, wait. Putting me in second talk. I, I, but do you I, understand the other side of this? You got a lot of attention from your animation, which I think is cool. I know, and that's what I love, and I'm, I'm appreciative. And let's get some views up today. If you go to YouTube and you punch in, I think, just o o a new names. Uh, Opie, Anthony, names, or puppets, whatever. Yeah, puppets or whatever. It's It really is a great animation. I was kind of bummed you didn't win because I really thought it was the best Yeah, one. it was a good but, one, definitely. But uh, we were fair as far as judging this thing. And the only reason we didn't announce a winner sooner, we just hated that the contest ended so fast and that they just didn't get it over there. Right. So, But we're on to the, the real contest now, and I, I hope you submit something. I think I will. All right, Andrew, thank yeah. you. Yeah, see? She's fine. Yeah, she's all right. See, Flea? Flea. Stupid Flea. flea. Oh, oh, my God. Stupid. <laughs> uh, my go oh, my God. Stop yelling. Oh, oh my God. Oh. OMG. It's a busy Manhattan morning. I live in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone does a Flea impression. You just got to sound like a douche. <laughs> well, he's a good kid. He just... He oh, just is he? Roll. He's 30 a years old. Yeah. <laughs> he's been around so long, he's got to be at least 30 at this point. All right, Andrew, thank you. Thanks. All right. Don't videotape me. Oh. Don't videotape me. I, I'll sue. He's like... I'm making a statement right now. You see the drunk <laughs> flea video? It's hysterical. Really? Where he's telling... Uh, I forgot who it was, but he's telling him not to videotape him or he'll sue. Oh, and he's not up. giving permission to put this on YouTube. Shut the and then fuck you could see it on YouTube. Everywhere. <laughs> he's like the retarded Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, I got to laugh finally. Thank you. I've only been fucking trying for two hours here. <laughs> <laughs> I can stand as an instigator. What, what is he saying? <laughs> What's Sam? <laughs> Sam's such. <laughs> He's kind of, I figure, you know, we'll get the show going and he, the flea should come in and defend himself a little bit. <laughs> if he yeah, would have right. stepped in here. No, please. Like, Sam knows, too, that if, if he walked in here, opened one gun, get the fuck out. All right. Sam's like, no, you ought to get in there. He wants yeah. to get in there. <laughs> He's Don't, coming up Sam's on the show. Sam's the fucking prick. I love it. He's the best. And because of that, now you got to grow your hair for another week. I'm sorry. Oh. It just, that's how it is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's sticking out more on the sides now yeah. and kind of flattening on top. Yeah. What's happening? I don't have a lot of control over it all the time. <laughs> yeah. It just kind of does its own thing for the most part at this point. Yeah. All right, listen. Here's the deal. A face uh -huh. mask on that thing. We're going on vacation that's soon. Cool. The last day before vacation, you shave. It's the big finale before we go on vacation. Okay. And then we allow Eastside Dave to officially win the contest because he's not shaving his head. Well, technically, doesn't Eastside Dave still have to compete against Danny? Ah! That's true. Eastside Dave's not winning this. I don't care who's losing, but Eastside Dave will not <laughs> win this contest. By the way, the message boards, I understand, like, fucking Flea, you really irritated me. Um, because I understand people are loyal to the show, but when, when, when the guy comes back on... And people are like, fuck him. It's like, I get it. Like, that's the radio shit thing. But it's like, then we can't win either way because it's like when he's not on, people are like, well, he was really funny in NEW. Why is he not on? Right. And he comes in and he pretty much just talks for two hours as far as what was going on with him. And, uh, you know, I think he was being honest because he said the same thing to me when I was alone with him. Right. And he's more introspective. And I've known him for years. He's more introspective than I've ever seen him before. And something else happened which didn't come up on the air, which he doesn't want to put up on the air. But let's just say in his personal life there was something very sad. that, And it's like when, when somebody goes through certain things and they come out the other side of it and people are still like, fuck him. It's like, you know what? People fight. That's, Pe that's Flea Man's post right there. I can't really read it. Yeah, I have. It's, it's, it's not even that offensive. It's more like it was just annoying. I understand that Norton had to for his HBO and completely respect that what he has to do. But what Norton has to do for his show shouldn't reflect O and A. Fuck you, Flea. Fuck you. Can, can I tell you how this whole, whole thing went down? Uh, this HBO opportunity for Jimmy is huge. Huge. And I just, uh, I, I pulled Jimmy aside. I go, look, dude, you know, uh, having dice, you know, that could be good for your show. But there's there's issues there. And, and some, some way or another, you're going to have to deal with it. And uh, that's what we did. That's what we did. I mean, the, the, I think dice being on this show it was going to work either way. Yeah. But uh, Jimmy... He could have said, yeah, whatever. But Jimmy actually spent the whole day, what day are we up to? I guess the whole day Monday, 
uh, trying to figure out what what he could do to make uh, the situation better. And, and would he be and willing he, to come back for real? And, and he even said it can't just be like a thing for the show because people smell bullshit. But the guy sat here for two hours, and I and he, look, look. The reality is he's doing a ten minute set tonight. Right. He's not doing an hour in front of right. a hostile crowd. Right. He's doing ten minutes of a TV taping right. with other comedians. And, I don't think he's going to get booed. I think he's going to be fine. And. Uh, you know, he came up here by himself, no posse. You know, because uh, Dice, when he uh, when he uh, walks around town, it, he could be intimidating because he's got a lot of animals with him. And he decided that if if it's going to be a real moment, he's going to come up by himself. Uh, and he left most of the shtick outside the door. And uh, and I respect that much. I guess I I don't know. It just doesn't feel the same uh, with me and him and that happens, whatsoever. That and, happens after people and fight. I, I, I have to at least say that. Yeah. I, I respect that why he was mad. I uh, respect the fact that he came up here into the lion's den and all that crap, but I don't know. I think there's too much damage that was done, to be honest with you. I'm not, I, I'm not saying that should, that should definitely not affect the fact that he's doing something for Jimmy tonight. I want to make that perfectly fucking clear. Well, it's, okay? it's one of those things that when people, I mean, when people fight, the fucking flee, Fuck you, what motherfucker. Now? What now? Just that, what he's putting capitals, what he has to do, but what Norton has to do for his show shouldn't reflect upon o and eight. Like I said, hey guys, go against everything you fi You fucking little cunt. You fucking little cunt. You fucking hanger-on faggot. Fuck you. You know, and a lot, some people... Question my motives like that, you fucking little cunt. And some people, uh, you know, the haters, they're not real fans. They they were trying to, like, get it going that we were kissing his ass and, and all that uh, yesterday. And there was there really wasn't, man. I, I didn't I didn't really, I didn't back down from my position. I listened to what he had to say, and I made it perfectly clear that, you know, his thinking sounds a bit insane. It, it was, okay? absolutely. But I don't know why. It's like when people have shit happen... It's, it's like people fucking fight, especially with the radio show. It happens. There was a fucking... And it was weird because you guys were very close friends. But he didn't talk to me for two years. Yeah. And again, if he had trashed me or whatever, I'm sure I would have been much angry about it. But I was kind of just booted off a tour. And I was very fucking angry. I was very angry because there was no explanation. And well, I, we didn't even bring this up in front of Dice. But yeah, there was a point that Dice blew off Jimmy for what? how many years? Two? Like at least two thing? years. We didn't talk at all. And then then it was just a casual, what, you ran into him out there in L.A.? So I'm at the comedy store, and uh, we hugged. Like, when he walked in, he hugged everybody here. And we talked about it. And we talked through what happened. And uh, when he was talking to me about going through the divorce and being unable to talk or communicate anything at that point... I believed him, mm -hmm. and I knew he was telling me the truth, and that was probably about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. um, so I knew exactly what he was saying, and I understood what he was going through something fucking crazy at that time. Fuck it, that kind of shit happens. Right. But for you to sit there, and if people, I'm not saying fuck you to everybody that doesn't want to, that's your business and your position. That's cool. I don't agree with you, but that's fine. But flee you personally, you fucking little jizz bag. What he has to do shouldn't affect what's on the ONA show. Like, I totally disregarded the ONA show, you fucking little cunt. Fuck you. There you go. You know. Faggot. My position after the show, it felt very weird, very, um, just very, just, it's not, it's not the same. I, I do need to say that for myself. It's not the same. I felt will the it, same way the first time I saw him, too, it, to be honest with you. Will it, uh... Turn into something again. I don't. I. I don't really hold out hope for that. I don't. I don't wish anything bad uh, to happen to him or any of that crap. But you know, I mean, we we have we have what we did back in the day. Is is what I'm what I'm saying. You know, and we'll see. I guess. You know, I wasn't. I wasn't moved either way yesterday. I got to be honest. It was just. It was. I was. I don't know. It was weird. Too much time passed. Yeah. Too many really exciting things have happened for me personally that my friends were a part of and i look at him like wow you were in in my eyes you were in that like circle of friends of mine and it's like ugh, i don't know you know what i'm trying to say it's like yeah but it's like when time passes with anything it's like and don't forget the first time you see somebody after all that shit that was said right it, yeah it's understandable to fucking not be moved either way it really is but if if time goes on because it's like it, what i wanted to see was People getting along because he is funny on the radio when he comes on. He's, he, he's very funny. Dude, we did. We, we're pretty honest here, man. We did great radio with him. I mean, great, exceptional radio with him. 
and, exceptional. And I, it, that's not what I had the problem with. Right, of course. Because um, I really, I mean... I don't know. I, another real moment. We're having way too many real moments. No, on the show I, I like lately. it. That phony shit. It's a fucking zoo cruise. Let them do it. I, I take uh, I take my relationships very seriously. I take my friendships very seriously. I don't have a lot of friends, but the ones I do have, I take extremely serious. You know, I'm very tight with my family. I take that whole thing very serious. And I understand that Norton had to do for his HBO show and completely respect that. That's what he has to do. First of all, but, you cunt faggot. Let I'm me, a part of this show. Let me, let me. You fucking cunt. But he, he, uh, he doesn't get it, and, and a lot of other guys don't get it. Jimmy did this. Jimmy did this more for me, way more for me than the show. HBO wanted wanted Dice as well, and and it would have been fine even if we didn't have Dice on the show yesterday. It just would have. Without getting into details, there would have been things done that it would have made the taping completely. Fine, and I, and I will be. So Jimmy did not have to do this for this HBO opportunity that he has. That I think is is really uh, important for Jimmy in his career. When I was talking to Andrew, uh, it became apparent that he really wanted to fix things, and it wasn't just this. Because let's be honest, at a TV taping, most people are going to be cool at a TV taping. Mm -hmm. I mean, Carlos Mencia. You want the reality? Carlos Mencia went out in front of a crowd. That was that was actively booing him, mm -hmm. and he fucking destroyed. I, that that really wasn't a concern. I wanted to see it. You know, everybody behave. And, yeah, we had, when we had Carlos on our comedy tour last summer. We, yeah, we were all backstage going, "Wow, I wonder how this is gonna, you know, turn out." Because a lot of uh, a lot of the fans, you know, ha do have a problem with Carlos because some of the things that have been said sure. by by the, these comics and stuff. And we talked to Carlos. He goes, "Look, I, you know, I'll be fine either way." And he went out there, and they tried to boo him off the stage. They really did. Or a, a yep. small group. By the end of it, he pretty much got a standing ovation, threw the mic down like he was a rock star. He had one of the best sets of the night. Easily. Easily. And the same thing would have happened with the HBO taping. That flea, I want to fucking... I just... I hate your fucking guts. And it's, it's not for anything you said about Dice, and it's not for not agreeing with him being on the show. Here's, uh, here's flea. Uh, flea. For what? What? Flea. Hi, hi. First, Jim. First of all, I'm really sorry if I angered you. I didn't mean to. Well, look, I, you don't. I, I don't want. You don't need to apologize, dude. I'm not even asking you to change your opinion. You're entitled to say what you want. But it, that those two lines that, that makes me fucking hate your guts. If you don't like Dice and you don't like him on the show, that's fine. But like, I understand what Norton had to do, and and respect. That's what he had to do. Like, fuck Jim. Uh, what I do shouldn't affect O and A. Like the three of us don't interact and affect each other on a daily. You fucking douchebag. Well, what I meant is, Jim. Well, uh, what I meant is, like what you do personally in your career. If you wanted to do that, it's okay. I just didn't. I got what you meant, Flea. Like I speak and read English. I got what you meant. Okay, it's, but I'm. I just. I was just, you know, expressing my opinion about how I felt about it. Yeah, I know I what you were doing, Flea. I didn't question that. I know you were expressing your opinion. I didn't ask you to take it down or say that you shouldn't be allowed to constitutionally. I get it. But it makes me hate your guts. Well, I'm, you know, it, I don't know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to hate my guts. But well, irrelevant. Yeah. Everyone fucking hates you. Do you wonder why no one likes you? For real. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. You're a uh, dumb motherfucker. That's why. Not uh, anything you said about Dice, your opinion with him being on, all of that's acceptable. That's your opinion. But when you, you, like, what you're doing by doing that, you fucking asshole, is you're questioning my motives. And you're implying that, like, I don't care how anything affects Opie personally or Anthony personally. I'm putting a personal agenda on it. When I have never done that on the show. We were off the air for two years. I wouldn't even do radio shows that had a problem with Opie and Anthony. I was on the road. That's one of the reasons Dice kicked me off the tour. Because I wouldn't help promote Chicago by going on Man Cow. Yeah, and maybe we didn't make that clear, but uh, I have no doubt in my mind that Jimmy did that more for me than anything. I mean, Dice was uh, booked to do uh, Jimmy's show for HBO. He was in town. It was a good opportunity, and Jimmy said, wow, yeah, we, you're right. We, there is no closure to all that crap that went on, and let's see what we could uh, work out. He worked, the, he worked the Dice thing all fucking day while I was dealing with a pretty serious personal issue on Long Island, and I, I was driving back to the city, and, and Jimmy, I've, not, I've known Jimmy for, what, 10 years now? Yeah. And uh, the Jimmy I got on the phone call driving back from Long Island Monday was a different Jimmy. I was like, wow. He was really 
affected by uh, by his time with Dice uh, at lunch on Monday. We had a, me and Opie had a real talk in the cab on the way home. Actually, a walk home, and then I talked to it. it just the whole thing with this merger happening. Uh, all that stuff, it just, I guess, I get tired of the fighting. I hate the fact that Florentine doesn't come on. Like, I love the fact that Nick is coming on right. and guys are crossing over. Florentine used to do our show back yeah. in the day. And how what happened with Florentine was really simple. We just did, we had, in the beginning there, we had too many guys and we didn't have room for Florentine, unfortunately. And then he, yep. he got an opportunity with Howard and the rest is history. But he used to do a bunch of stuff for us back in the day. And we love Jim. Jim's one of my best friends. Uh, I'm happy he's doing the tape. I mean, you know, he's, he's but I, I hate the fact that, like him and Levy, and we're not all. I, it's just like all these comics who are all having a good time, and I hate any of that fighting. I just hate it when right. we were all friends. Right. And uh, it was awkward having Andrew here yesterday. It was weird, but it's like, say, let's. I say you fast forward a year, and he comes in a bunch of times and makes calls, and all of a sudden this like it sounds corny, but everybody's like okay again. Right. Then well, you're having fun times again, and I yeah. fucking hate the fact yeah, we'll that see. a bunch of friends. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's possible. I um. Oh, what was the, what was the, ah, uh, wow. I just don't I, like that fucking, this little douchebag <laughs> questioning my motives. When I, I wasn't I, questioning. Yeah, the, yes, that's, that's exactly what that is, you no, fucking it asshole. No, it wasn't. It wasn't questioning your motives. Yeah, I openly said that. It was questioning Dice's motives. Yeah, no, but you no, said you said what I have to do for my career shouldn't no, affect that's, O&A. No, that's, it's not what you have to do. It's what you want to what, do. What, whatever, you fucking semantics Please. just bucket. We're all in the, one and the Please. same. Why do you think that audience is there? Why do you I'm think not, that the HBO specials I've done, I've had Opie and Anthony stand up and thank them because they're a part of this thing with me, right. and that audience is there because of these guys. And, and, and Flea... Uh, they're not separate. Dice was not coming on our show. He was booked to do the HBO show with Jimmy. It was set in stone. There was no reason for him to do our show. Yeah, the timing looks a little weird, but either way, Dice was going to do Jimmy's show, and he was going to do just fine. But, but it was an opportunity because he was in town, and I did tell Jimmy I'm still uncomfortable because I never yeah. got an answer why the guy bl completely blew me off. And that's what I got out of yesterday. Now I'm like, okay, now I understand why he blew me off. I don't really... I don't um, agree with him, yep. you know, but that's how he deals with things, and and we're all different, you know. I, I'll say that much. But guess what? I'm fine with it now because at least I got an answer, yeah. you know. And I also learned that, you know, being uh, Dice's friend is uh, quite frankly uh, exhausting. Yes, and I don't really know. I don't really think. Uh, I want to go down that road again, you know. But that doesn't mean uh, we can't do good radio down the road. But we'll see. We're gonna yeah. have an open mind. It this doesn't mean that Dice is gonna start doing our Absolutely. show again. Well, I got a quick question, because what I said before is, you know, you said you were going to Dice do the show anyway, but if Dice is going to be doing the show in front of a bunch of ONA fans, was he going to be booed out of the building? We don't know. That's why I, this is how this started. I didn't want them to boo, and I don't think they would boo Artie. I hope they know better, because I've done fucking Howard crowds, uh, and they're always respectful and great. Like that fucking benefit I did for Jerry Red Wilson with Gray, they were a lot more Howard fans because I think that they, he promoted more uh, than, than I did. I hardly promoted it at all. Right. So I think Artie's name was attached to that from day one we before I was. We, honestly, I think we mentioned it twice, maybe three times uh, in passing. Yeah. We didn't really do much time on that. And, and Greg's a Howard guy. They're and, all Howard guys. And we should have because it's a, it's a great, uh, great call. They're all serious and Howard guys. And you know what? That crowd was fucking great to me. So I'm not really worried about Artie. I didn't want to see the crowd. It was more for the one or two people that might act up because the taping is going to go well, dude. I have no doubt He's going to kill on a taping. I honestly don't. I think all the comics are going to do well. A taping has a great vibe to it. But then I saw this thing of like, it, when I saw that Ope was really, I, I didn't realize that fucking Ope was going to be bothered by something. And I was really glad he told me. And we, we walked home and we had a real heart to heart. Well, I told Jimmy, I go, Jimmy, I'm very uncomfortable with, uh, with uh, the fact that, you know, Dice is doing your show. Because for the simple reason, I never got an answer. And there's no closure to all that bullshit that went on. I, and as I sit here, I don't, there's... Uh, there's sort of closure now, whatever. Um, what the what the fuck? This stupid allergy. So, uh, so I, I told Jimmy that, and and Jimmy took it upon himself to do something about it. And we talked all the way home. And you know what? I would never have just mentioned it on the show casually, like, "Hey, just behave." Like, I didn't remember all the shit that had gone on. My girlfriend and I have had major problems. I'm in a depression. I've been talking. Whatever. The I'm in sexual therapy. <laughs> Who gives a shit? My head has not been in the right place. And I'm, I'm like, oh, my God. As we're walking home, I actually said I was sorry to open. I'm like, I actually would have talked about uh, this to you. I would have discussed this with you and said, well, how do you want to? Because I hadn't remembered all that stuff. I forgot how nasty 
some of that stuff was. And believe me, ONA fired back really nasty, too. I fucking forgot about how nasty it got. So I talked to him all the way home about I, it. I laugh at the people. They go, uh, you should have went through the laundry list of things he did. I'm like, uh, I, trust me, I, I know I did just fine uh, fighting back. Yeah. and I, I remember some of the things I said, and I was pretty impressed with myself. I, the hit, the, I think the hit backs. <laughs> it's funny because Pete, the agent, I was like, you know, because Andrew said a lot of nasty shit. He's like, you kidding? Those guys fucking hammered him back. I'm like, oh, yeah, they did. Right. Really. Dice actually made me laugh yesterday when I, we sort of brought that up, and he goes, well, what was I supposed to say? I was mad at you guys. Yeah. I, you know, yell and scream how great you guys yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. Well, so what, what you're doing by that is don't try that fucking split thing like I'm doing something without regards to the show because that's exactly what that is. That's exactly what you're saying when you do that. Well, I just thought that maybe your Norton, I thought maybe your special would be, you know, something else that's not taped, tacked onto the show. Like the fact that I've fucking, like the fact that everything I've done in my career since I've been with Opie and Anthony, I've mentioned Opie and Anthony, or I've fucking credited that. What the fuck are you talking about? And every audience I do, I fought to have my HBO special shot in D.C. so it would be ONA fans that hadn't seen me in a while. I wanted this done here. Why do you think they're Jimmy, doing this in fucking Jersey? It's HBO. You know they don't really shoot in Jersey. You know what, Jimmy? You don't have to explain that shit. But I'm, anyone out there thinking that way, this is you not about him not liking Dice. That's acceptable. There has been so many times like uh, where Jimmy's like, okay, you guys are going to sit here and uh, you're going to stand up. I want to I acknowledge you guys. And I said to Jimmy, you don't have to to do that you know i mean i think it's awesome that you did but a, a few times like jimmy you know people get it you don't have to do that anymore and then when jimmy was at caroline's last month uh, i went to one of the shows and and he didn't uh uh say that i was in the audience yeah it was a rowdy was, friday late show and he was obsessing about it at the show i'm like dude it's it's okay i always, everyone knows the connection now it's all good don't worry about nah, it but I, I like to do that because it, it and it's not even to be corny it's because as a comic i realize the fucking audience i get is from this show and 80 90 percent of my audience hardcore fans are from the opie and anthony right. show they love it when the guys come out and it's also a way it's like it sounds stupid but i get a lot of accolades from fans live because I'm on stage. Right. It's like, you guys don't get that. It's like when you're in the audience and they can clap for you, it may sound corny, but it's fucking, I like it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like, I don't know, I've never separated myself like that. So when you're saying shit like that, it's questioning my fucking mode and it makes me want to fucking spit in your face. All the other stuff you said, I got no problem with it. You, I don't agree with it, but you're, you know, you trash dice, that's fine. You don't want him on the show? That's fine. But when you're questioning my motives like yeah, that, you it can't. just makes me hate your fucking guts. I didn't mean to question That's your motives, It doesn't that matter. So just don't ever fucking speak to me again. Bye, Flea.